with uh, Mark Lou, McCarthy, Justin Lewis, uh, Elijah Amory, and Tom Boyd. So the two tools with four really smalls around them. And of course, the first thing we'll keep an eye on to Sam Murray now making his way to his familiar position off half back. And he's going towards Cal Moore at the moment. Uh, I don't think that'll go to Paddy Warner. Out. So yeah, Paddy looks like Paddy Warner will go to Sammy Murray there. So For A-grade oils and batteries, as Chris Knoll sends the Magpies forward first. Looks like they're going to get a mark here as well. Cal Moore with a tight slip there in the bright green boots. Pumps it inside forward 50. Reed, just like that, the Magpies first entry inside 50. Reed on the end of it, and he'll lie up 15 metres out, slight angle. Yeah, all started in the middle. Dan Sherrick got the quick hands back to Knowles, who got the quick kick in, out, and obviously forwards in front first to move, and Ben Reed again, what a good grab, a great hit by Cal Moore. Playing in front, what a start this would be for the Wanger out of Magpies. Comes in, first game in a long, long time. <laughs> Hasn't played like since round four against North Auburn, and he shanks it out on the full, and the Rovers will have it next to their goal or their defence post. So uh, not a great start here for the Rovers. Uh, sigh relief early in the Wangaratta derby. Robbie McKinlay, all yours for the Old Town and Country Tavern. Sam Murray will get his first 40 wing start of the afternoon and he kicks in down the line and he finds Will Molan at half back on the Ovens River side of the ground. Good crowd in, somewhere between 1,500 and 1,800 at the moment, you'd think. And Nolan goes short, finds Toby Murray, the Ibis. Gee, that's a nice kick too. Beautifully weighted. Finds Cooper right in the centre of the ground. Goes short, kicks on a good one. Mm. And it has been marked by Barrett, halfback. Handball to inside to Sharrick was good. Now they'll run it for Gotchling. Hunter Gotchling, long kick. Moore at the back. Right. Now works his way to the front. They're at sixes and sevens there. The Wangaratta Rovers defence. They didn't recover from that clearance earlier. And Cal Moore will go back 30 out directly in front. Again, a handball from Dan Sharrick. Set that one up. Hunter Gotchling. Ben Reed's been talking about him the last few games. They really want to get him back in this side and have him back. Showed there. Got a bit of pace through the mill. Got the ball out in front. And a good grab by Cal Moore again inside 50. He's no certainty from this distance straight in front. Cal Moore. He's an extraordinary player. He often kicks the unbelievable and quite often can be a little bit shaky from this distance. 35 out directly in front and there you go. He's missed it again to the right hand side. So a couple of early chances for the Pies have gone begging. They lead it one behind. Rovers yet to score. Two minutes gone and that is on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard and the Macca's pumping, time clock. Pumping this morning, was, Robbie. Mate. We Paulie's went past Corner. It. Saw Gus McLeod there chewing into a burger. Eggs Benedict, it is brilliant on a Sunday morning as Murray kicks one out of the fence. It's been intercepted here by the Wanger out of Magpies and Fraser Ellis had a good couple of weeks, has Fraser. Goes inside forward 50. Murray. Free kick here. Different over the top spoil yep. and there's a free kick, Monty. Yeah, going out of Melville. Murray just jumped over the top there and got him a little bit higher. So free kick to Melville and again, they look dangerous, don't they, Wanger out of the setting up really well behind the footy. Probably not the right option there from Sam Murray with that kick out. Just hit Fraser Ellis on the chest and he's gone into a dangerous position. And Brad Melville, one of the classier players on the ground today. He's a fair chance from this angle, I reckon. He's kicked three goals in his two games this year for the Wang Maggies and has been instrumental in their two wins he's played in against the Tigers and against the Panthers. He'll line up tight up against the boundary. Goes with the traditional drop punt and he doesn't register a score. And the big Ibs... Helping out his defence takes in a set mark for the Wangaratta Rovers. They want to switch the footy. And he finds the hard-working Dylan Stone. Top 10 in the comp for disposals. And he comes out here to Jace McQuaid. Third game of the year. His kick hangs a long time in the air. Asks a lot there of Alex McCarthy. Well done by Hunter Gotchling who comes across and forces a ball up. 60 out for the Wangaratta Magpies. Only by one point we played three. Time clock. Dan Vaccaro, 40 winks. Really positive start by Wang, mate. They're dominating. Three inside fifties, and they've taken two marks as well going forward. Murray, that's the Ibis, taps it. Gets on the swing of the mitts. Knowles roves it. And ball put his teammate Murray Wade under pressure, but he's either been pushed or just slung a little bit. In the Murray back. Wade will take the free kick. That's in the back. Correct call there from Panda. Wade, 75 out from gold. He goes short, Oof. low finger burn, and nearly hit Dane Porter in the back of the head. He wasn't <laughs> watching. <laughs> it's, I'll tell you who was watching. It was the pup. 
pop Clark, and he does a oh. shocking spinning kick. It, no one could take control of that except Brody Philo. He beat three magpies. Handball release was good to Dylan Stone. Goes wide, kick's got to be good. Hebron saved it in the end. Wasn't a great kick. Got a handball to Mark Lou, long way up the ground. Tackled straight away. Ball spills free. In dispute at the moment. Centre field. Hebron had it. Tackled by Ellen. Handball over the top to Mark Lou. Mark Lou was clever. Got it to Gerrish, got it back to Dylan Stone, and his left foot kicked good down the line. Yeah, Barrett was probably grabbed high. He was by Elijah Amory back. They play on straight away. They hug the boundary line. Ovens River side of the ground. Good contest there between Clark and Pup Clark. The two Clarks going at it, and we have a boundary throw in on the Ovens River side of the Normans Oval. Still no goals in the Wang Derby. The Pies. One point, lead the Rovers yet to score. All the action for A-grade oils and batteries here on 2AY and 3 and a and on Optus TV as well. Looks like we're going to have another stoppage out there on the far side of the ground here. And I tell you what, you always know it's a good crowd when people are sitting on the other side of the ground, Robbie, and yep. they're loving it today, aren't they? Exactly right. Now, is this, I reckon it's probably around the 1800 at the yep. moment. Sharrick, a quick kick. It's almost through forward 50 now. It will go through forward 50. Breaking clear. A quick kick in a hurry. Paddy Warner. It was Paddy Warner. He just got tagged right at the end. I'm not sure what yeah, might have picked Sam up. Sam Murray just yeah. grabbed hold of that jumper. It was a great chase by Sammy. Because I reckon Paddy thought he had him for pace and just did not give up and was able to just affect the kick there right at the end. Yeah, his closing speed was excellent from Sammy Murray. Now Chamberlain kicks down the line. Ovens, river side of the ground. Big packer player forms. Stone was good. Got a handball over the top. Well done by Tyler Norton for Wangaratta. Inside handball is good to Sharrick. Smothered though. Superbly by Mark Lou. A quick kick down the line by Gerrish. Almost a half forward now. Here's a chance for the Rovers. Well done, Matty Grossman. Ducked under a high one. He's going to win a free kick, Panda, at half back. Or nah, is he? It's no? gone out of bounds, boys. Boundary umpire says give it to me. He'll throw it in. 65 around from the Rovers' goal. They haven't scored. Maggie's got a point. Here's Dan Vaccaro. Six minutes gone. Make yeah. time clock. What a start by Wayne Magpies. Five inside 50s. Rovers yet to go inside their forward 50 this game. Jeez. So they need to get a little bit of play in their attacking half here, the Rovers. Nolan sat under a high one there, and he's going to win a free kick. He was crunched. Gerrish wants to take the advantage, and he's oh. been stung holding the ball. Great tackle there by Brad Squid Melville, and now the Magpies are away through the middle of the Normans Oval. Luke Saunders wants his left foot. Beautiful kick inboard looking for Reed. Too strong against Jace McQuaid. Marks 50 from home. Plays on straight away. Goes into the pocket. Can't quite hit Cal Moore. And Nathan Cooper just saves it over the boundary line. It'll be tossed back in five metres around for the Maggies goal. Chances went begging then Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks. Absolutely. Getting let off the hook here, Wang Rovers. They've gone inside forward 56 times, Magpies, and have had taken three marks as well. Up it goes. Moore will take the ruck. He won it. The tap goes towards shut. Philo had a swing and a miss and did the same with a handball too. Jackson Clark handball out the back to Saunders. Tackled straight away there. Good tackle by Lewis. The young fella from uh, Coral Glen. Third game in a row. He's got a bit of presence oh, about him, Big Mac. There's something about him, mate. He reminds me a little bit, too, of um, young McCarthy as yeah. well, Alex McCarthy. So they've got a bit of grunt and size there. Melville tackled. And it will be another ball up. Panda 60 out from the Wangaratta goal. They lead one to nothing. Seven, almost eight minutes gone for A-grade oils and batteries. How long was it for the first goal yesterday, Monty? Uh, yeah, it was about 18 minutes, I think. OK, well, let's hope it's not like that in this game. We've played seven, still no goal. McNamara for the Rovers was just grabbed without it. Umpire didn't find it. Gaston laid a tackle on Knowles while yeah, he didn't have it. free kick to Porter, boys. Porter, sorry. Yeah. Dane Porter, not Dan. Dane goes inboard, shocking kick sliding in down low. Michael Pup-Clark, who started this game pretty well, and now he's just played on as well, and oh, no, Warner has pinged him, holding the ball, Monty. Yeah, yeah, not smart there. I think he went to go, and the option he had on that far side got shut down. He wasn't sure what to do, and it was great pressure put on by Paddy Warner. That's what he's in this side for, be that pressure forward. Just got him, and the umpire pinged him pretty quickly there, Warwick Henderson. So, Will, uh, Michael Pup-Clark wanted to play on. He, he had the ball in his hands, and he just didn't realise Warner was right there next to him. Court holding the ball, and Paddy Warner now will line up from 42, 43 metres out directly in front to kick the first goal this opening term here in the Wangaratta Derby. Warner lines up. It's nice off the boot. It's home. He loves it. The Magpies kick the first in the Derby. They go to 1-1-7. The Rovers yet to score. I'm not sure they're 
gone inside forward 50. We've played nine minutes in the Macca's time clock. That's on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard, Dan Vaccaro. Absolutely, and what a start by Wang. And the scoreboard would only say seven points up, but they are completely dominating this contest in the first half of this quarter. They've gone inside forward 57 times. They've taken three marks. Uh, Dame Porter, Dan Sharrick, Cam Barrett, Brad Melville all getting their hands on the footy early as well. Wang Rovers, big issues. Yet to have a clearance, yet to go inside forward 50. Dylan Stone leading the way for them with five touches as well. So not a promising start by Rovers, but a really, really hot start by Magpies on the 40 wing stat sheet. Doesn't miss many, Paddy Warner. He nailed that one beautifully. Philo knocked off the footy. Here goes Jackson Clark, pumps the ball inside, forward 50. Keep an eye on Reed behind. Gavard superbly, Reed. Oh. The handball to Warner was electric, and he bangs through back to back goals in 20 seconds. Does Paddy Warner? But Ben Reed, wow. take a bow. The way he picked up that football, the look away handball was that of a premiership player at the AFL at the highest level. Super stuff. Boundary side, Scotty Montgomery. Yeah, how good was the centre clearance but from Jackson Clark as well. Just got on the boot as quick as he could. Got it to a very dangerous position. As you said, Ben Reed just showed his class there. And Paddy Warner, two in a minute. Unbelievable start here for Wayne Grata. Yeah, really early days here, but it could get ugly very quickly. Oh, he's called it. He's Rovers. done it again. Rovers <laughs> he's done need it again. to get their hands on the footy. Have not called it, but they got to get their Ooh. hands on the Footy. Well, the Rovers are going to come back and win if we've, <laughs> if Dan Vaccaro's, I guess, he's done this a few times this year, has our man Dan Vaccaro, and the opposition's got going pretty quickly. Oh, so I'm the not, Pies, 2-1-13, right on on the Rovers yet to score. They've got a free kick out here on the Ovens River side of the ground. Dylan Stone started well. Shimmy's around one. And then has to hand pass it to a teammate. It's Cody Shutt back in today. Goes inside forward 50. Low ball. Good fist there from Michael Bordignon. Tom Boyd snaps goalward for the Wangaratta Rovers. No one home. And it's trickled over the boundary line. And at least, Monty, they get to set up with a stoppage inside forward 50. Yeah, they do. And they're trying to go a bit tall down deep now. With Gaston going in the ruck. Murray's going to the... Toby Murray, that is, is going to full forward. So they've got Boyd, Murray and Mark Lewis all inside 50 at the same time at the moment. First, full, first um, inside 50 for Rovers too. In it goes. Boundary throw in. It's a bit of a wobbly one. And I'll tell you what, how would you like Dan Vaccaro making a decision on your life if you're in <laughs> intensive care in the local Wangaratta hospital? Oh, he'd pull the says, plug, I reckon, when he's And he says, no, I don't think he can pull through. <laughs> and he, I'm not saying and, they're done. And they pull the plug on you. It's all over in life. Dan yeah, Vaccaro's got shocking. another one. Oh, yeah, look at more. Beautiful tap now to Melville. Straighten up a bit, you blokes. Kick to the centre ground is good. Paddy Warner kicked two already. Nice work, Sam Murray. Won it. Went back after it. Couldn't win again, Anderson, so Warner's handball was good. It kicks into the middle of the ground. And the big Frenchman, Shane Gaston, marks two centre of the ground. He's going to pump it long and they're going to go inside forward 50 again. Keep an eye on Moore. Brought the ball to ground. Here's a chance. Hebron, snap on goal. Misses. Oh, that was a good chance from 35. They've got their first score, 2-1-13. Wangaratta Rovers are just the one behind, and that's on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard. We played about 12 minutes in this opening quarter for A-grade oils and batteries. That's on the Macca's time clock. Too easy out of defence, that kick in there. They find Luke Saunders, the Wangaratta Magpies, at left half back in front of the famous grandstand here at the Normans Oval. Gloomy day here in Wangaratta. Perfect winter's day for footy. Saunders goes in board to Melville. This is great. Foot we use here from the Wangaratta Magpie. Sharrick has it. Still in his own defensive half. Laconically oh, oh. kicks to half forward. Look at that for a kick. Cal Moore marks 55 out. He's almost got the journey here. Loads up. Kicks to the top of the goal square. Newton not able to get there. Chamberlain just dropped it at the crucial moment for the pie, for the Rovers. Good hand pass there from Warner. Oh. Newton kick on goal. And a goalkeeping saving effort there from Sam Murray. Stopped a certainty. Through for a minor score. The Pies 2 2 14. The Rovers 1 behind. We played 13 minutes opening term. Great kick from Murray. Gee, that was a good save from Sammy Murray. Ball Brilliant. stays in. It does. Gotcha. Really well. Look away, handball to Jesse Smith. Pumps the ball midfield. Dan Sharrick has it. Look, eyes up. Looks up. Oh, got McVeigh. He was about to play on. He's oh. been told to play on. He got out at the end. The umpire. Quick kick forward. Marked by Cooper. Play on was a call there. Dylan Stone shoveled one out to the Frenchman. His kick's not a good one. Sees Barrett. Plays on immediately. Kicks long. Newton. Can't mark. Nice work there by Pup Clark. And it's going to be thrown in 25 around from the Wangaratta goal. They lead 14 to 1. And we have gone 13 and a half minutes on the Macca's time clock. One from you, Dan. Yeah, Wang Rovers, boys. 11 inside 50s already. They are absolutely...
Wanga rattle that Magpies. is. Magpies. Wang Magpies, sorry boys. So they've had a lot. That's what you're saying, Dan Vaccaro, as Newton just edges Toby Murray under the footy. And you can't do that in the right contest, Robbie. And the no. Ibis will win a free kick. Well, you can, but if you get caught. Exactly right. And the umpire didn't have let him have a, get away with that one. So the big Ibis out of defence. There's a play down behind play here. And it's a free kick to the Frenchman, Monty, yeah. on the far side. Yeah, just um, Van Bell. I got caught up with him and probably grabbed on. So free kick holding the man off the ball. Started well, Shane Gaston. Finds Ryan Hebron. Should always be in the side, in my humble opinion. It's whether he wants to play or not, Robbie. OK. Oh, oh right. So Ryan Hebron pumps the Rovers to half forward. Boyd not able to mark. All magpies there in reply. One of them's Mark Anderson. Kicks down the boundary line and falls fortuitously there to Murray Waite in the Helicopter. long sleeves. Helicopter. He's too far out to score. Here's Robbie McKinlay for the old town and country what do you reckon, tavern. You reckon our Frenchman's enjoying life in the twos these days, do you? Potentially. OK. Stuff that. You want to be here on the big time, don't you, yeah. Big Mac? Yeah, Murray. A, a, a boomerang kick down the line. It's not bad. Gee, got a lot of distance with it. They've got a few numbers here, Rovers. Diving was fine. Boarding on clever kick off the ground. Gained about 10 metres. And it'll be whirled back in right on centre wing. That's on the Ovens River side of the ground. Wang lead 14 to 1. 16 minutes gone just about. And Dan Vaccaro, you put one finger up. I hope it's going to be pleasant. Oh, just for Rovers, boys. Dylan Stone, he started the game really well. He's up to seven touches on the 40-wink stat sheet. Mm, two oh. goals in this game to Paddy Warner. Dan Sharrick racking up the 40 wings. Look at that delivery inside 50. Finds Michael Newton 45 metres out on a 45 degree angle. I think Dan Sharrick is almost one of the best kicks in the competition, Monty. Beautiful. Yeah, he's beautiful. Just the way he takes a little bit of pace off, puts it to the right position there, and there's nothing a defender can do there. Just too good. And all he did was shield the ball there, Juice Newton. But yeah, Dan Sharrick, geez, he started this game really well. 14 goals in four games. A bag of 10 against North Albury here at this ground. Michael Newton comes in, and it's to the near side and across the face. Blowing a few chances. Chances here, the Pies, owning this opening quarter. 2 3 15 on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard. The Rovers, one behind. First quarter action for A grade, oils and batteries. Yeah, Sam Murray brings it back in. Target is McQuaid. Oh, he got a Falcon. Hit him fair in the noggin. Amory got it. That was Elijah. Handball to McCarthy. Now Amory gets back again too. Running hard. Now to Noah Amory. Shimmy one way. Shanked the other. Kick to McCarthy. Was low. Mark Anderson did well. McCarthy went back and won the footy. Fraser Ellis was good. Handball over the top to Saunders. Can he break clear? He does. He gets a handball. Gotchling fended off a high one and kicked it out of bounds on the full under extreme. Extreme pressure, and it'll be the former left arm spinner from the Handy Cricket Club, <laughs> Paddy Murray, who will bring the ball back in on centre wing. Monty, I reckon Sam Murray would be pretty happy with that defensive effort, though, because when they bring the heat, the Rovers, that's when they're at their best. Yeah, absolutely. They were around the footy there, and they probably should have got out Wangaratta, but just uh, the pressure from the small forwards again. Elijah Omer has been fantastic so far with that, so yeah, he's got to keep bringing that heat. McNamara's switch kick across to the Ovens river side of the ground <laughs> had to. Wait there for Dylan Stone, who's able to get around one and pump the Rovers inside forward 50. Mark Lou's got three to beat. Off hands, beautiful roving here from Elijah Amory. Left foot snap on goal. Hits the behind post, and they get another stoppage inside forward 50 here. The Rovers still haven't kicked a goal in the Wang Derby. They trail by 14 points. So we tick up towards the 18th minute mark on the Macca's time clock. It probably could be more, couldn't it? They've, uh, they've, they get a goal here. They've minimised the damage. At the moment, they trail it by 40. McCarthy through traffic, snap on gold, and he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. He does that well, young McCarthy. Hey, Monty, I don't know if you can keep him eye. Is, is anyone sort of running with Sam Murray a bit, or has anyone nah, got a particular Paddy role? Warner's the one who's sort of matched up on him the most. So, yeah, at the moment, you'd probably say Paddy Warner's in front in that competition, having kicked the two goals. Yeah, it's a good shout, Mont. OK, centre wing, grandstand side of the ground. Ellis over around the footy, and so did McNamara. The boundary throw in, slightly into attack, between half forward and wing for the Wangratta Rovers. They trail 15 to 1, 18 minutes gone. Dan, give us something on that 40 wing stat sheet, and then yeah. it's going to be Panda. Rovers have gone inside forward 53 times, and it's on the back of a real dominant display by Dylan Stone, up to the eight touches on the 40 wing stat sheet as well. Dane Porter fires a hand pass out of the contest, hacked off the ground there by the Pies. I think it was Squid Melville and McVeigh marks. Centre wing goes down the line. Ben Reid, he marks in front of. Jace McQuaid. I reckon he paid the pushing in. I think he paid the mark. Okay. But either way, it's Ben Reid's <laughs> right. ball. Boys. You and I will kiss and make up yeah, during the break, no, Robbie. Yeah, all good there, mate. Ooh. He chips over the top to Fraser Ellis, who can steady oh. on goal and miss. 
just sneaks in for a behind. He had too much time then, Fraser Ellis, in the end. That was too easy. And a minor score again for the Magpies. 2 4 16. The Rovers one behind. That's on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard. We've ticked up towards the 20th minute mark here in this opening quarter. Big Mac. Don't you try any of your Lake Buffalo moves? I won't. On, on I me, won't, mate. Robbie. I won't indeed. Kiss and make up. Murray brings it back in. Oh, that's a lovely kick. Middle of the ground, Ooh. flying high was Mark Lu. And he's, well, they're going to have a free kick. Going to go yeah. the way of Tyler Norton. Yeah, the tackle from Amory there just slipped above the shoulder. So good call by Warwick Henderson again. Good spot up from Mont there. I reckon he's got potential to be an umpire, Mont. Norton pumps it long. Reed lurks. Look at Moore goes high. Ball comes to ground. McNamara gathered it. He was tackled. Was he slung? Yeah. Yep, yep, They're going to pay that these days. And you know what? I think in some ways there was nothing fierce or vicious about that, but it's an education part he, of the game he, now, Panda, that every player only realises they've just got to stop it. He's got to be consistent, Robbie. That's all we that's want. That's right. Well, that's all we can ask for. He could have actually really dumped him, but and you that's could it. see that Dane learning. actually changed the way he was going to tackle. And it's progress, Panda. Still... Gave away a free kick as Dylan Stone gets another 40 wings disposal. Did Elijah you, Amory. That's, that's exactly the same right there. Yep, that's going to be a sling. And Monty, it is indeed. Yeah, absolutely. He's silly there. The ball's going out either way. So these boys just need to settle down a bit. They're right on top of the bike track here. You could go out and actually Whoa. pat him. Monty? Yeah, I could. I might get involved in this. Why don't you go and stick the microphone in their face <laughs> and get a couple of great special effects? Brody Filo just got ragged all over the top of the fight too. <laughs> if we could see his coloured boots. You watched yeah. the fight. I'll yeah, watch the fight. It was the Brody. Free. Goes inside Ford 50. Big pack forms. It's lifted here in the wing derby, which is what we like to see. Gerrish has to fire a handball out to shut. Off a step. Clears defensive lines. Ibis Murray. He was out of bounds then. And the umpire yes. has said, you were out of bounds. And it will be tossed back into play right in front of our commentary position here at the Normans Oval. The Pies were the only two goals in this opening quarter, both to Paddy Warner. They lead by 14 points, Dan Vaccaro. Absolutely, they do. And what a first quarter it's been for Wang Magpies. They're up to 15 inside 50 to Rovers 3. So it has been a complete dominant Jeez. performance good by Magpies start. So that's, that's good pure stats, Dan. Not you that get I've... that on the Premier data? No, Is that off the iPad, that one? No, that's, <laughs> that's your own that's work. That's just me. Yeah, that's oh, just that's me. Yeah. hard work. Pen. That's not it. the answer Mont wanted to hear, Dan. I love it, but both Here's ways. Here's McCarthy. He's been probably Rovers' best. Got a handball back to Shut. Shut's kick was smothered. Now, uh, that's young Lewis. Punts the ball down forward. They've got numbers back. That's a courageous mark taken there by Saunders for Wangaratta. He had to slide a to handball to Mark oh. Anderson who missed one. Handball over the top. Mark Lewis hunting everyone on the field at the moment. He got boarding on. Now he's going to go back after and pick up and you're in trouble Mark. You betcha. The crowd's starting to come to life here Panda. This is what we want. Lewis has a free kick for the Rovers. They trail by 15. Can 21 you... gone. First quarter. We'll get back to Monty soon. The atmosphere is lifted here. Lewis goes inside 50 here for the Rovers. Hebron in a dangerous position. Puts his head over the football. So does Norton for the Pies. Philo wrapped up. Hunter Gotchling. Stone there for the Rovers. Thought he was grabbed it out it. Matthew Bader Kelly gets his first 40 wings disposal. It tumbles over the boundary line. Out of a dangerous position there for the Wangaratta Magpies. It'll be tossed back into play. Broadcast side. Just four to centre here for the Wangaratta Rovers who are owning a bit of the ball here, Monty, late in this first quarter. Yeah, they are. They're definitely ramped up their pressure around the footy and the way they're using the footy they're just getting it nice and long not chipping around too much at the moment you can hear a bit of that noise mont down there now where you are the crowd's yeah, starting the, to warm into it yeah i reckon it's the third wang rovers thirds boys in the grandstand that are really starting to lift that voice in around oh, the crowd they never let you down those lads God i'm trying us. to be up there with them i reckon why do they start drinking those lads here's reed flies high ball goes over the back trouble here murray wait runs onto a loose ball short kick towards moore picked it up on the first bounce inside handball to dame oh. porter Got Got through one, got through two. Handball back to Moore. Moore had to pour it towards Paddy Warner. Well done, shut for Wang Rovers. Handball, look and hope. Picked up by Sharrick. Can't beat the tackle of Philo. Had to handball in a hurry. Got it to Dane Porter. Kicks it. 30 out from the Wang Rovers goal. Ball Murray. whistle. Murray's yep. been shoved. He was pushed severely in the back. And he'll win the free kick. Sam Murray at half back. 23 and a half minutes gone first quarter. Magpies 16, Rovers 1. It's for A-grade oils and batteries. And 
here's an A-grade operator, Panda. Thank you for the kind words, Murray. Mur uh, Mon uh, Big Mac, I should say. Murray's kick was a real poor one across defensive lines. The Wang Magpies are able to get there in numbers. Cam Barrett steadies from 45, kicks on goal, and it's across the face again. Through from minus score. Five behinds in this opening quarter. 2-5-17, the Maggies. The Rovers are one behind. We've played 23 minutes on the Maccas' time clock in this opening quarter. And still only the two goals to Paddy Warner, Big Mac. Yeah, and they came within 20 seconds. Mm. Apart from that, it's been um, a, probably a, a quarter of lost opportunity at the moment for Wang, but they're getting a lot of the footy. Murray kicks in, gas on from behind, flies high, brought it to ground, picked up by Sharrick, drives it long, open gold square, Murray, Sam Murray read it superbly, he's just calling for his players to steady things down as he goes across the ground and he finds Dylan Stone at halfback Panda, Rovers trail 17 to 1, 25 minutes almost gone first quarter for A grade oils and batteries. I'll tell you what Dan Vaccaro, Dylan Stone is having some quarter for the Rovers. He absolutely is Panda, he's up to the 10 touches on the 40 wing stat sheet, he's been their best player. Mark Lou. Can he get out the back here? Not able to mark Norton there for the pies. Mark Lou applies a really good tackle and yep. he's won a free kick here holding the ball. Good pressure from your big Toby forward. Murray. Toby Murray. Mark oh. Lou inside 50. You called it, Monty. Looking for Murray. Murray not able to mark. Left foot kick. It's a real high one. One on one in the square between Grossman and Boyd. And it's through for a minor score. The Rovers, they go to two behinds. The Magpies are two... More the uh, the what's going on there on the scoreboard? They're had, counting backwards. Just had a moment. Two didn't five it? seventeen. So it's a fifteen point lead here to the Wangaratta Magpies. Another lost opportunity there for the Rovers. Big Mac. Yeah, they need to nail them. Melville was good. Here's Paddy Murray. Did well. Couldn't get on the first bite. Showed great composure. Patrick Murray got it to Patrick McNamara. Half volley gather. Missed there by Barrett. The Frenchman did well. Got it to Philo. Driven into the ground. Play on to call. Chance for Gaston. Kick off the ground was good. Lewis went. Hard running after it, so did Shag and Nolan, tumble the ball in the half forward, here's a chance for Hebron, great tackle, that's a legal disposal, Tyler Norton, that tackle was sensational, the pressure was good for a start, and he completed almost the perfect tackle, he takes a free kick off half back, and he finds a teammate in Saunders at half back as well, 17 to 2, Wangaratta lead, 26 minutes gone for A grade oils and batteries, that's on the Macca's time clock. It was a Mawson's concrete play that it was there from Tyler Norton, Great tackle. Late stage is opening quarter. In fact, opening quarter done and dust as the siren blows here at the Normans Oval. A bit of a scrappy affair, but the heat is well and truly up from both sides, which is what we love to see. Two Paddy Warner goals, the difference here in the Wang Derby. The Pies 2-5-17. The Rovers two behinds. First quarter done and dusted. We'll be back after this on RM Live 2AY and 3 &E. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. 
go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. On 2AY. Welcome back to the Normans Oval here in Wangaratta, where the Pies hold a 15 point lead over their arch rivals, the Wangaratta Rovers. Quarter time. Good crowd here at the Wangaratta Derby as well. Dan Vaccaro, who were some of the Optus quarters best in that opening term, please? Yeah, well, for Wang Magpies, what a dominant start for them. They had 18 inside 50s to Rovers 6 that quarter. But for the Optus quarters best from their side, Dan Sharrick, he just looks like he has so much time with the football. He's had 10 disposals. He's been amazing. Wangaratta Rovers, I felt like Sam Murray's got a lot of the football. He's probably saving him down half back. He's had the 10 disposals um, as well. And... Uh, Dylan Stone as well. He's had uh, 10 disposals. I feel like he's been really good off halfback. Probably needs to get a little bit forward of the footy, but he's been really good as well. Some of those team stats as well. Where the Wangaratta out of Magpies on top? Well, it's simply just in the inside 50s there, Panda, and the centre clearances. So they've had three to Rovers, none, but 18 inside 50s to six is a damning stat. Um, Rovers need to find their way to get their hands in the footy a lot more. Monty, um, you've been out at the huddles. Uh, what did Murray or uh, Reid have to say? I reckon the Rovers would be happy just to be 15 points down at quarter time. Yeah, absolutely. On the way in, Sam Murray called him in early before they actually got into their line. And he said, boys, we've played the worst quarter of footy we've played nearly all year and we're still in this game and they haven't blown us away. Whereas you go back to the other side, you listen to Ben Reid and Ben Reid was quite disappointed with a few of their inside 50s. He thought the entries were a little bit shallow, probably could have got to better areas. And they just got to take a bit more care when they're getting that shot on goal because they've got to be able to finish the work that everyone's doing up the ground. Otherwise, you know, we're keeping the Rovers in this game. Panda, one of the things uh, Dan was saying on the 40-wing stats too, there have been quite a lot of free kicks in this quarter, but from my perspective, I think the umpire has been fantastic. We've seen a couple of dump tackles, uh, Pay, which have both been there yeah. as well, um, and, and they've set the tone early. It's been a little bit of conjecture about those, obviously, in the last couple of weeks with a few yeah. suspensions it has as been, well. It's been really well adjudicated, and there's been 21 free kicks, mind you. 21? 21 that quarter. Mind you, there's probably been about five or six he that were out of bounds in the full. He counts out in the full. Well, that is a free well, kick. Well, that is a free kick. That is but, um, village. That it's, is like, it's like counting possessions on uh, kick-ins, isn't it? I agree. Like, Sam Murray's had 10, but five of them were kick-ins. No, yeah, you gotta be, that's why you're still number two, mate. you just got to live there. I'm going to call the stats as they are. No, I'm not fluffing them up like freaky. I'm calling them as I'll see it, I right? have your back. Don't you worry, Dean <laughs> and Vaccaro. 
And a big thanks to our man, Travi Cartwright, as well on the camera, who is doing wonderful things as well. He's been in Bali over the last couple yeah. of weeks. Sun He's tanning. looking good. He's been doing the netball as well, which the Wenger out of Magpies won by 40 goals. Thanks to Ray White Rural. Was that a wolf whistle, was that a whistle from the whistle crowd? For Monty. Oh, was that from down in the crowd? I'm not sure. I think it might have been back in the studio. Our man Geddes. Oh, yeah. He is a brilliant <laughs> Loves operator. Loves his sound effects, Trent, doesn't he? He is a brilliant operator. And we love the Wenger out of Derby. Second quarter action, not far away from starting here. Just waiting for the spectators, I think, to get off the ground. A couple of the kids down there as well. Look at these kids down here with all their sausage rolls oh, and hot dogs. Oh, it's great to see, Panda. Nice don't... and laconic. I hope you're not criticising them. Here you go, Big Mac for Wang Motor right. Group. It's the Pies by 15 points. Good on you, Panda. Here's Big Ibis. He didn't get it. Knowles, he outsmarted him. He won it and reefed it. Kicked it half forward. Newton missed a half volley. Cooper, geez, unusual. He's fumbled the ball momentarily. Now he wins clear possession. That's wow. a lovely kick. Midfield found Ryan Hebron. Jeez. Just at the back end. That's the bird box might be coming down after all. Here's Philo. Quiet in the first quarter, Brody. Spent most of the first quarter in the forward 52, boys, so I'll probably get up around the footy a little bit more in the second quarter. Stone wins it, gives a handball to Murray on the burst, reaches 70 out, long ball, Sam Murray, Grossman's there, gets a bounce that is quite favourable, and he retreats backwards over the line for a rush behind. Nice, enterprising start there from the Rovers, first score of the second term, the three behinds, Maggie's a 17, and this quarter's for the Wangrata Motor Group, Panda. So... The Rovers three behinds. The Pies 17. The Rovers edge it back inside 50. Grossman, first game in a while, picks it up. On to Barrett, right foot, out of there. Sam Murray, oh, brilliant mark. Good Free job. kick or a one-handed mark. You take your pick. Murray loads up, sends him back inside 50. Pack forms, Newton. Or well, it might be Grossman down there. No, it's Newton. He gets tackled and we have a ball up inside 50. The Rovers owning a couple of inside 50s in this second quarter, which is what you like to see. They need that goal early here just to get them a bit of confidence. Porter quick clearing kick. It's been marked by Philo. Tried to claim it. Brody it went about five metres. He loads up from 50. Sends it. Goal bound. And no one there to give a hand to Tom Boyd. Grossman takes it in the goal square. And he goes short to Norton. So the one behind the Rovers in this second quarter for Wang Motor Group, they, lead, uh, they trail by 14 points. As Melville wins it at half back, kicks it nicely to Newton. Gee, they defended that well, the yep. Rover, uh, Maggie's there. Grossman just sat back for that, that minute while the ball's down there. And in Andy won that possession. Here's Cal Moore, clever handball to Melville. He's made a lot of ground from half back, kicks it beautifully. Reed, Reed finds Jackson top. Clark, handball over the top to Ben Reed, walks in and kicks the third goal of the afternoon. Maggie's get their third. 3 5 23 to lead Wangrata Rovers, three behind. And you're going to take that all the way back to a Mawson's Concrete Player of the Day from Matty Grossman and Dylan Van Burlo down there. Monty, gee, they did it well. Yeah. They went coast to coast. They did the old Casey case and they kicked a goal. Absolutely, mate. Dylan Van Burlo's body work there on Tom Boyd did his allow Grossman to take the uncontested mark was first class. And then uh, Brad Melville showed why he's a class. It fumbled around on the ground, just went bang, clean, and away they went. And Cal Moore, just to drag in the opponent, Coop up, give, Cooper, give the yeah. block, give the handball over the top, and away they went. Just created that overlap and too easy there for Ben Reid from the goal square. Just a quick one too boys the work away from Brad Melville was second to none as well to get that one two off the ground hasn't played since the 29th of April Ben Reid and he's back in and kicking goals and leading this Wenger out of Magpies charge in 2023 Barrett off half back kicks to half forward more there able to get around a couple of rovers he's dangerous in this position when he loads up inside forward 50. Robin McKinlay has just turned my microphone off thinking it was his actually Damn you, Big Mac. <laughs> Going inside 50 at the wrong time. And Will Nolan takes an intercept mark for the Wanger Adder Rovers. He clears lines. And there's a free kick here. Toby Murray hand passes to Jack Gerry. This is good run and play here for the Rovers. But the hand pass just allowed Knowles to come in for the Wang Magpies. Porter lays a tackle. And we've got a ball up. Well, just outside 50 for the Wangaratta Magpies. 70 around from their goal. They lead by 20 points, 23 to 3. Now it's your turn, Robbie McKinlay. Sorry about that, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? I'll you were dying you up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I'm alive, okay. Hebron, how's tackle. The, how's the honey pot you Yeah, got it's here? going beautifully. Philo somehow got that out. Still on stone, was under a bit of pressure. Good tackle by Philo. Ooh. He wrestled weight to the ground. He's gone high, gone high. And yep. you got a high tackle there. Yeah. It was all, either that or a sling tackle. Nah, it, it slipped the high. high. Definitely it was slipped high. Ex extraordinarily well uh, adjudicated there by Mason Ring. 
who sit, I noticed you and him, a bit of a hand wave yes. there before the game, a bit of a thumbs up, keep up the good work, Clark punches it, Newton showed candy, delivered a handball to Melville for a point. Whoa, that was close. That was almost a steal on goal of the day. Contender, it's a steal on point of the day. And then Panda, 3 6 24. Wangaratta, four and a half minutes gone. Second term lead. Wang Rovers, three behind. Macaro, what do you got? Just a quick one on Brody Philo. Boy, he showed a little bit of frustration earlier there. We're slipping high. He's only touched the footy four times. So if Rovers are going to get back into this contest, they need to get his hands on the footy more. Ball hangs a long time in the air there from the kick in from Murray. I can feel through our effects, Mike, the wind. Just picking up Monty, boundary side. Yeah, I think it's still about that two or three goal where he's heading towards that Evans straight end, which Wenger are kicking with at the moment. But yeah, I don't think it's picked up a hell of a lot more than what it was at the start of the game. Monty down in the boundary for Waters. Second quarter action for Wenger at a motor group here at the Derby. As Gerrish just gets a little dribbling kick out of the contest. Elijah Amory, beautiful kick to half forward, finds that man, Dan Vaccaro's man, Philo. He can go left, he can go right. He's too far out to score. Called to play on and kicks it to the hot spot. Out the back there, Boyd's in the front position. Not able to mark, brings it to ground. Stone picks it up. Great tackle from Michael Bordenyong. And it's over the boundary line. It'll get tossed back in five metres around from the Wang Rovers goal. They desperately need one just to give them a bit of confidence here in this second quarter. They haven't kicked a goal yet. We've played five minutes in the second term. They trail by 21. Knowles won it and we dropped it. Gosh, Sharrick, how about that for a handball to Jackson Clark who thumps it to open space. Shagger Nolan leads in the race. The ball has been tracked by Dane Porter. Nolan won it. Well Kick's done. got to be good. It was. Finds Williamson for Wang Rovers. Halfback. They trail 24 to 3. Six minutes gone. Second quarter. Kick into oh. the middle of the ground. Not a good one. Marked by Melville. This spells trouble. Cal oh, Moore. What a kick. Oh, no. He ball went over his head. Cooper did well. Cooper put his head over the footy. He's going to win a free kick. Well done, Nathan Cooper. He found a way to win that. It took a bit of courage and he clears from halfback. That's what you get when you're a star in the VFL. He kicks out on the wing, looking for Hebron. Not able to mark, but Dylan Stone is able to apply a little bit of magic. Just turn, Gotchling inside out. Tumbles one inside 50. Boyd just misread it. It was a tumbling helicopter. And Matt Grossman breaks away for the winger out of Magpies. He kicks it to the Ovens River side, but it might come straight back. Chamberlain wins it for the Brown and the goal. And he just finds Dylan Stone. Bringing his own footy at the moment. Dan Vaccaro, 40 winks. 15 disposals for Dylan Stone so far in this contest, boys. Lighting up the stat sheet. He goes short here to Cody Shutt. Likes an option inside forward 50. Mark Lou, did he get a shove from behind from Grossman? Yeah, he push. did. Monty, Mark Lou free kick. Yeah, I think he did. I think he might have copped the hands in the back because the umpire was straight onto it as soon as uh, he went to ground. So we get the free kick here from about 45 out. Probably right on his distance here for Alex. It was better ball movement, though, than from the Rovers, Monty. They were pretty patient. Yeah, absolutely. That's what they've got to do. I think they're just rushing a few of their kicks, and that's why they're looking a bit yuck and a bit nearly tumble punt type kicks at the moment because they're just throwing on the boot trying to get forward at all costs but they need to just take their time and like that in that build up and just uh, find the option inside 50. 23 goals from eight games. You'll line up from 50 metres. Drop punt on the way. It's home and he loves it. He sticks up the one bicep as Alex Marklu and the Rovers get their first goal seven minutes into the second quarter. They go to 139. The Magpies are 24. That is on our CMV truck and bus scoreboard, Dan Vaccaro. Absolutely, and what a great finish there by Alex Mark Lewin. They've just brought a little bit more pressure Wang Rovers this quarter. They've gone inside forward 56 times to Wangaratta. Magpies five, so they're really even in the contest now. Dylan Stone, he's already had five touches in the opening eight minutes of this contest in this quarter. Uh, Brody Philo, Sam Murray all getting their hands on the footy, so much more positive start from Rovers, and it's Brad Melville for Wang Magpies, boys. He's already had four touches this quarter as well on the 40 wing stat sheet. Yeah, and it's sort of noticeable too, Dylan Stone, these possessions have been a lot higher too. Um, for more for not across half back deep in defence like that first quarter. That's going to be more constructive for Wangarata Rovers. Kelly kicks the ball to half forward. Paddy Murray did well. He did not allow that ball to get out. Now it works well for his brother Sam Murray. Shimmied, wow. shaked, handball to follows hot, real hot. Damn hot, in fact. Here comes Dane Porter. Turnover, Magpies. Trouble here. Reed over the back. Newton's there. Reed will run onto it. Gathered it. Handball was delightful to Sharrick. So, oh, Shag and Nolan. Read it beautifully. He marked between Newton and Melville. And the Rovers are out of strife. And the kick's OK to half back for Hebron. Hebron had to fly from behind, but it's all Maggie's at ground level. Ellis is one of those inside 50. Newton left all alone. He marks 20 metres out. 
on a very tight angle in front of the scoreboard. How about that delivery from Ellis? Ellis just went bang with that kick. And I'll tell you what, it didn't go much higher than probably a metre and a half off the ground. Just nice flat bullet pass. And Michael Newton here with the snap around the corner. Plays on, snaps it over his shoulder, and it's through for a steal line goal today, contender. A Mawson's concrete play of the day from Fraser Ellis. And the Pies gets the instant reply. They go to 4-6. The Rovers won three on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. We've played 10 minutes in this second term. Absolutely. What a great finish there by Wanger out of Magpies again. And oh, I guess the damning stat at the moment is the marks inside 50. Wanger out of Magpies this game are uh, able to have seven marks inside 50. Rovers have not marked the footy inside 50 in this. It's almost a quarter and a half. So that is really poor. So they've got to lift in that area. But what a finish there um, by the Wanger out of Magpies. Brad Melville's been really good. He's had four touches this quarter. And Cam Barrett's contributed with three as well. Big thump forward. Rovers... Win it out of the centre now through Hebron. Tumbling kick to half forward. Tommy Boyd got it. Great tackle, Grossman. Had to handball it out. A bit of hope and hit in the end. Mark Lou overran it. Gee, that's a free kick. Yep. Front on contact. Let's go back to that last goal, Monty. The kick from uh, I think Shag and Nolan. Oh, that one, uh, yep. That one there. It, Hebron had to mark it. It wasn't easy because there's four magpies around him. Absolutely. Probably just had to take a bit more time, Shag and Nolan. Tried to find him straight away. And a one on four, just turn it over there. You're in all sorts of trouble. They've Absolutely. Got, they've got the overlap here, the pies. It was good tackle there from the Rovers on Melville. But it spills out here to Newton at half forward. Able to get around to Rover. His kick inside 50 wasn't great. Murray intercepts. Goes to his brother. Across goals. Hung a long time in the air there. This is Paddy. They want to switch it back out to the Ovens River side of the Norm Mins. That trail 30 to 9 on the CMV Truck and Bus scoreboard, the Rovers. Took to the ninth minute mark of the second quarter to get their first goal in the derby. Nolan's kick, not great. Out of bounds on the full. And Liam McVeigh is going to win it back and bring it back in for the Magpies. He goes short to Saunders. He's been reliable, Paddy Murray, hasn't he? He um not a lot of fanfare about the man. Playing his role. Oh, Moore's gone for a top. It's a hell of a mongrel kick. And Sam Murray does well to mark that because it had an extraordinary awkward spin on it. Murray kicks it long, intercepted by Jackson Clark, though. And now this is going to open it up. The kick's a good one. Finds Dan Sharrick. 48 metres out. Tight angle, but gee whiz. There's not much that this young bloke can't do. And you'd almost back him from here, Mont. Yeah, absolutely. He's one of those class acts, isn't he? But, gee, Sam Murray, he's turned over a few now coming out of D50. He just needs to find the right option, I think. Maybe go a bit shorter because he's just thrown on the boot and turned it over, and this is another shot on goal here. And Dan Sharrick, I'm going to back him from here, boys. Yeah, the grandstand have got a great look at this. Sharrick comes in. He kicks from 49. Kick on the way. Thank you very oh. much, Monty. He nailed it. Gee, that's a good finish. Expect nothing less from Dan Sharrick when he's got the footy in the hand. There's always a little bit of magic. 5-6-36. Rovers 1-3-9. Still on goal of the day contender. 12 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. We're doing this one for Wangrata Motor Group. Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks. What are these inside 50s this hot quarter? The inside 50s this quarter, Wang and Magpies are starting to kick away, Robbie. So nine inside 50s to Rovers. Seven, so a really positive start by Wang. And what a finish by Dan Sharrick. He's probably been one of the best players on the ground. He's had 14 touches and he's kicked a goal as well. So an unbelievable display so far for Dan Sharrick. He is such a damaging midfielder, Monty, as Dan Sharrick. He's just gone to a new level in 2023. Absolutely has. He's so clean as well around the footy, which makes him so much more damaging. His touches mean probably twice as many as a lot of other midfielders. And there he is again with another four. 40 winks disposal. He dribbles the clearance inside 50 for the Pies. Matthew Kelly hand passes it off to his mate Moore. A little outside of the boot kick trying to find Reed on the lead. And McQuaid right on his tail. It's across the line for a boundary throw in. Still in a dangerous position for the Wangaratta Magpies. Since Mark Lou Gold to bring the margin back to 15 points, they've gone bang bang through Newton and Sharrick and they hold a 27 point lead. Halfway stage of this second quarter. We'll get around the grounds in Melbourne shortly as Cooper wins the ball off halfback. Gee, that's a high thumping kick, centre wing, and a great grab taken by Tommy Boyd. Ooh. Oh, gee, you're stiff, Tommy. Yeah, well done, yeah. Warwick Henderson. Yeah. He stepped in, the experience, the non officiating up. I said, no, that's a grab, and well done, Warwick. Now they'll go long. Gerrish kicks the ball inside half forward. Ball does come to ground. Boarding on got the fist on it. Rovers need to win the ball here. Noah Amy did okay. Tackle was sensational. And he'll definitely be rewarded with a free kick at half back. 
to McVeigh. That was a strong tackle. Dan Vaccaro, you've got a score in the AFL. We do have a score in the AFL at the MCG, so it's Collingwood Magpies, 7-6, 48 to Adelaide Crows, 4 9 Murray White and Nathan Cooper in a one-on-one contest on centre wing. Broadcast side, well done them from Reed. Just to tap it back to Norton, who goes to, to Murray White inside 50. In fact, there's Reed there, so that was actually yeah, Matthew was, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> They're good the mates. Two bald heads, blokes yeah. out there, Monty. Good mates. <laughs> they are good mates indeed. There's only about three foot difference between them, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> the bald head got me. Well, it's not the first time that Matty Kelly's been mixed up. Scott exactly Montgomery right. down at Wangaratta this year called him Benny Kelly a couple of times. He wasn't oh. playing then, at least. Mm. So it's toss back into play nonetheless. I'll let you two sort it out a little bit later on. <laughs> 35 around from the Magpies' goal. Dane Porter fires out a hand pass to Smith. Oh. Tight in the pocket for a steal oh. line. Goal of the day. Jesse Smith with as good a finish as you'll see. A drop punt beauty. Tight in the pocket. And the Magpies are running away with it. They go to 6-6-42. The Rovers 1-3-9. That's on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. What a display here by Wang Magpies too, boys. 11 inside 50s. They're up to now. Dan Sharrick's has brought his own footy to the ground today. He's up to 16 touches and a goal. Brad Malville's been really good with 10 touches as well. It's just going from strength to strength for them. Rovers need to find their way to get their hands on the footy. Jack Gerrish, he's only had the six touches as well. Brody Filo has been quiet throughout the day as well. So they've got to get their big names stepping up and get their hands on the footy, Robbie. Monty, what about that finish? Yeah, oh, pretty good finish. Jesse He's Smith. one of those players in the Jesse Smith. He doesn't mean a lot of the footy around goals, but he can finish off. And just as we say, that Tom Boyd's gone as a loose man in defence for the Rovers. Well, that's what Wang love about him. Here's Sharrick. Handball, well weighted. And he finds Fraser Ellis. Inside handball to Mark Anderson. Was a little bit hot. Good tackle by Noah Aim. He didn't stick, though. Ellis followed up his great work. Won the footy. Kicked at the half forward. Good defensive work. Paddy Murray. McNamara had to kick. It was slung to the ground. Pup Clark got it. He's been beset upon Pup Clark. I hope they don't penalise him. They don't. That's good umpiring. It'll be a ball up. 45 out from the Wangaratta goal. They are on fire. 6-6-42 lead. Wangaratta Rovers 1-3-9. 16 minutes gone. Second quarter action. And that's for Wangaratta Motor Group. Here's Toby Murray. The big Ibis. Just kicking the footy long down the Normans Oval. All pies at ground level. Porter was tackled straight away by Noah Amory coming in for his first game this year. Played in the preliminary final last year. Did Noah Amory. He did too. Button Park. Yep. Which they eventually lost to the Yarrawonga Pigeons. Here's Kai Williamson. Fires off a handball to Murray and his hand pass was not great for his brother Sam who looks back and says, Paddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Out of bounds, and it'll get tossed back in 60 around from the Pies goal. They still lead by 33 points, Dan Vaccaro, for 40 winks. They do, and Sam Murray's <laughs> been a bit of a lone soldier. He's up to the four, 15 <laughs> touches as well for Rovers. Uh, the big Ibis was there having a bit of a laugh, actually. He's watching the uh, the two older brothers have a bit of a dispute. <laughs> and the Ibis, he's, he's, gonna, he's sort of like the Henry Kissinger of the family, <laughs> I think. Here's Dylan Stone, handball back Mediator. to Paddy Murray. Now, Paddy, that's a better handball. He found Ryan Hebron. Snuck it back to Williamson. Great tackle, Matty Kelly. Oh. You're gone, young fella. He has. And Matty Kelly nailed him with a great tackle. Him and Dan Sharrick, no getting out of that one. Great to see the bald-headed warrior back. His first game since the grand final last year, which Wangaratta won. He drives it long into half forward, and it's fist from behind. Might have been Cooper there or McQuaid, and it's going to go over the boundary line for a throw-in. Panda, 30 around from the... Wenger at a goal. They're doing it easily. They lead 42 to 9. 18 minutes gone. And that's on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. Yeah, we've played just over halfway in this second quarter. The Rovers desperately holding on here. It's threatening to break open. Toby Murray, quick clearing kick. Mark Lou comes up and meets it. And he... Uh, yeah, just too high. Yeah, Monty, yeah, yeah just slip. got a bit high there as he went to tackle him. Probably a bit silly. The ball was nearly over the boundary line. So it's going to be a bit smarter here. The Rovers are starting to lose the plot a little bit. Murray White will fire it back in. There's another whistle. I think we'll redo it again. Yeah, Bordingong was trying to step it on the mark. Which he's obviously not allowed to do, so he's just told him to get out of there. Murray White's had a good five or six minutes. He's got speed. He's probably yet to hit his straps so far. As a pie, we know how damaging he could be as a saint. So he's going to have another opportunity here. Lots of players. Look at that, Robbie. Inside forward 50. There must be... Yeah, like 30 blokes in there. Well, no one inside the Wangaratta half at the moment, boys. Well picked up on the boundary by our man Scott Montgomery. So Murray White will just get it up to the hot spot. Packed on Wes Reed. Big fist there from the Rovers. That 
That was Jace McLean. Saunders oh. kicks it up, snaps it on goal, and it's home. Oh. Just like that, the Magpies have four on the trot, and it's out to a 39-point margin. It's threatening to really break open here in the second quarter. One-way traffic, Monty. A great finish from Luke Saunders. Yeah, absolutely. Got to the, exactly the right spot there, and he probably just followed his man down because he's playing in the back pocket. So the too many blokes were probably down there. They weren't able to man up properly, and, yeah, Saunders is really clean and was able to get the goal on the board. Great finish there by Saunders. And just quickly around the grounds at the MCG, it's Collingwood Magpie 7 6 48 to Adelaide Crow 7 9 51 Ooh. deep in the third quarter. Remember that stat I gave you in pregame, boys? The last, yes. since 2018, 18, the Rovers' average losing margin here at the Norm Mins Oval has been 93 points. What are you saying, Panda? I'm saying it's looking that way at the moment if they don't kick a couple of goals, Dan Vicara. <laughs> the other thing, too, you got to keep in mind, too, we'll get back to this shortly. Hebron in the cricket pitch. Got a kick, cleared the half back. Well done, McVeigh, off the ground. Or Jackson Clark, sorry. Now it goes to McVeigh. Now it'll go towards Clark. He's just going to run straight and hard out of here, Clark. Did well. Here's Sam Murray. Read it beautifully. Look away, handball was good to McNamara's band. And his short kick's OK to young Lewis. So Lewis looks to the middle of the ground, oh. kicks a shock up. And he's picked out Squid Melville. But they're going to have numbers back. And Wang Rose to be really careful around percentage. Lavington picked up, I think, nearly 15% yep. yesterday. And at the moment, Wang Rose is going to lose that at the moment. So as the handball goes over the top to Paddy Water, that's a beautiful kick, and he finds Jack O'Clark. Yeah, he's having some year as Jackson Clark. Goes in board. Dane Porter able to mark. Too far out to score. Hand passes it to Paddy Warner all by himself. Fires on goal for three. And it's through for a minor score. That could have got very ugly. He was all by himself there, Paddy Warner. 7 8 50. The Wang Magpies on the scoreboard that's working, which is good to see. Good 1 news. 3 9. We played 20 minutes in this second quarter. That's on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. Cooper brings. Oh, look at the spin on that ball. That's horrific spin. Dylan Stone got a push in the back. There you go, Panda. I'll call him before they blow the whistle. You can't ask for much more than that, can <laughs> you? You're saying Monty might be a good umpire, Robbie. You certainly oh, would be. I was very Robbie's good. Robbie's been there. I've well, been there, there done Why it, don't mate? you get back out and have a crack? Well, you're trying to get him out of the box. Oh, <laughs> not at all. I'm mate. just saying, you, yeah, you can commentate you, junior you games, Robbie. That? You can do women's footy. You What's can do that all supposed sorts. to mean, Robbie? Not junior games, <laughs> There mate. are different options. There's juniors, there's hey, women's. I'll go straight to the top where I left, mate, <laughs> if you don't mind. Now, where were we? Off half back, here's a chance for McCarthy. Threads a handball now to Stone. I think he's got half the cricket pitch on his back. He does. Off half back, now the Rovers kick it, but centre of the ground, they just can't find anyone. I think it's Melville might have intercepted that mark, and he kicked it beautifully to McVeigh, who has it smack bang in the middle of the ground, 49 to 9. It's a 40 point margin, Wang lead. Finding space everywhere at the moment as Smith, like Melville, loads up from downtown. He's very dangerous at the moment, Brad Melville. Monty, how many has he intercepted in, uh, across half forward as well? Yeah, he's been fantastic, hasn't he? And just his work rate. Like, he was involved early on in that play, and then he gets the shot on goal later on. So he just keeps running all day. So they're going to have to put some time into him and probably Sharrick in this second half, I'd imagine. Eight touches this quarter as well for Brad Malville, boys, on the 40-wing stat sheet. Yeah. He's second behind just then. So the Pies go to 50, 7 8, 50. The Rovers are 1 3 9. Danger signs here in this second quarter. We've played 22 minutes on the Macca's time clock. And Monty's not doing stats today, Pando. He's done it before. <laughs> he's moonlighted and done it before, but he's done it all before, our man. Clark handballed to Sam Murray, and the kick has been turned over again. Sammy puts his hands in the air, but not sure about that. Newton marks. Oh, bang. The kick went in direct and quickly. And it was look fantastic who was man up work from Robbie. Dylan Van Burlo. And Michael Newton has marked. 25 out directly in front. Mont? Yeah, Dylan Stone got caught in that mismatch there, so they just didn't react quick enough when the turnover happened because of how quickly the ball movement happened from Dylan Van Burlo. Just went on with it as soon as he took that mark. Got it nice and deep, and yeah, no chance Dylan Stone against the bigger opponent than Michael Newton there. Sometimes Juice has more trouble with these than those ones he kicked previously in the quarter from around his snaps over his shoulder. 30 out directly in front. Not a problem. He just squeezes it in. Oh, he, made it work. he made the old mate the gold umpire work and it won't hurt him. Bit of fitness, bit of extra work. Two to Newton and eight to the Magpies. 8-8-56 brother. They lead Wang Rovers 1-3-9 and 
Hey, um, Dan, you, you, you've been OK today. Maybe can you give me something that's just going to make me jump out of the box a bit more? Well, I think I, I mentioned it before, but it's just damning at the moment now after we just saw Newton take another mark there. Nine marks inside 50, and Rovers haven't taken that this better. game. So nine? That, nine marks inside 50 to nothing. So that is the most damning thing. Well done. And then you can see they're obviously seven goals up. So that's a really damning stat. It is 16 inside 50s this quarter to Rang Rudder Rovers, eight inside oh, 50. How so about that, Panda? An absolute info. dominant display by Magpies, boys, on the 40 weeks that sheet. That's what you get from Dan with the 40 wink stats and the Premier data's right in front of him as well. No, my iPad's gone flat, boys. Well, there you go. Oh. You need to boost it a little bit, Dan. He's well, running out of 4G. What a huge, you dumb it has. You know, there's a there's a PowerPoint right there, Dan. Right to the left of you, 20 centimetres away. Didn't bring my charger. Oh, dear oh. me. He's done the go. double whammy. And he doesn't have an O&M Live logo on his shirt either. Hey, uh, Pan, uh, Free Dan, kick here to the put, Wang Rovers. Did they, you put fuel in the car? They go inside forward 50. Boyd launches from behind. It's all pies there, though. Melville just sees it over the boundary line. 50 around from the Rovers' goal. Back to the did he, fuel. Did you put fuel in the car, Dan? You've had a Barry Crocker today. <laughs> Dan, you're in charge of the drive and uh, Robbie. Oh, so. Of course, you did come down here in the Gus McLeod Kia Serato. Oh, wasn't that another story? Knowles got pushed in the back, I thought. Here's Amory. Elijah snaps to the gold square from behind. Ball comes to ground. Van Burlo, superbly defended, got it outside forward, 50 shot, mark, missed the chest mark, Jesse Smith kicked it forward, here goes Paddy oh. Warner, didn't get a good bounce, now coming through with Sharrick, look away, handball to Reed was brilliant, got it back to Paddy Warner, 60 out from gold, kicks it long, more, 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 how do you like it? He kick puts it through for a steel line goal of the day contender, 9-8-62. The Rover, Rovers are getting shellacked here. Wenger and the Rovers, 139, 26 minutes gone. How about that, Monty? Absolute class. How good was that through the middle of the ground? Sharrick, Reed, and Paddy Warner just raffled between themselves and just got the handball over the top. And Paddy Warner, he's having some sort of day, I reckon, boys. He's really on top in that matchup against Sam Murray, I would have thought. And he's hit the scoreboard, and now he's. Uh, become the provider and get someone out the back to Calmore and the goal on the board. You're absolutely spot on, Monty. This is a faultless performance by Wangaratta. Magpies boys, they've had 17 inside 50s this quarter to Wangaratta Rovers 8. So complete dominance. Monty, is this saying more about the Magpies at the moment or the Rovers? No, nah, a bit of both, I think, mate. I think we we all know that Wang's last three or four weeks, they've been back in that uh, first gear, just absolutely flying, whereas the Rovers are starting to drop off a little bit, I would have thought. Gerrish inside 50, over the head of Boyd. Mark Lou sliding in, not able to grab it. Gee whiz, they need halftime here, the Wangaratta Rovers. They trailed by 53 points in the second edition of the Wangaratta Derby. 62 to 9. And six goals in a row for the Wangaratta Magpies. Murray just taps it to space. That was Toby in the ruck. They're winning all the one-on-ones. There's no pressure around the ball. Barrett was just able to go on his left foot then and rebound 50 out there on the far side. McVeigh takes it here for the Wangaratta Magpies. He's going to hug the boundary line down the far side of the ground. Reed up against McQuaid. Spills out the back here to Sam Murray. Looks in board. It's a nice kick. Finds Paddy McNamara right in the middle of the Norm men's oval. Now Philo has it. Oh, his kick's uh. been smothered. That was a little bit lackadaisical. Turnover. Ellis got it on the clock. Step through Chamberlain like a witch's hat. Kicks it long. Here's Cal Moore hunting after another one. And the bounce had a little bit too much heat on it. It goes through for a rush behind in the end. 9-9, 63, Wangaratta Rovers lead. Sorry, trail. A trailing 1-3-9. That is a 8-9 goal margin now, Panda. This is getting ugly. 27 and a half minutes gone. Second quarter. And uh, I just thought you might have missed my little Andrea True Connection uh, song there before. With I did. The last goal. Have you played that on your little afternoon <laughs> no, show? No, I haven't actually, uh, Robbie. Give on the crack. 2AY. Okay, I will. And You'll I'll get the drift. give you a nice shout out. You'll get the drift. Here, going inside forward 50 again. Too easy. Paddy Warner sliding in down low, takes it 40 out on a slight angle. There's just no method in the ball movement at the moment from the Rovers from back half to forward half. They're just kicking it long, basically, every kick out of the side. Defensive 50, and it's turning over because of the way that they've been able to set up Wanger out of behind the footy. And again, Paddy Warner, that man, you know, as I said before, he's having a day out here. He could be hitting for his number three. Body language is starting to become an issue, I think, for the Rovers as well. They've just got no answers at the minute. Paddy Warner's already got two. Lines up, kick on the way. It's through for another one. They are blowing this game open at the moment. The Wanger Adam Magpies, they go to 10-9. The Rovers are 1-3. That's right. 
They lead by 10 goals at the moment. This is getting very ugly at the Norm Inns Oval. You're absolutely right, Panda, and what a absolutely... is this quarter as well. So they are completely dominating. Five marks inside 50. Dan Sharrick's probably been best on field. He's had nine touches this quarter, 19 for the game and one goal as well. And the pressure from Rovers is essentially non-existent, boys. It's been a completely dominant display. In the middle, Gaston. Got a tappy. Kicked it off the ground. Hebron. Gave it. Geez, the pressure. The tackling's great by the Pies. They're going to win another free kick there. Looks like they've injected Sam Murray into the midfield as well. 50 metre penalty too now. Dan Sharrick will have a shot. Geez, they're stiff there. Well, he should be 30 metres out, Mont, for the time of the 50 metre. Talk, talk us through that one, Mont. Yeah, so the ball got caught holding the ball and uh, the Rovers player had it and he threw it and Matty Kelly just grabbed it <laughs> in between them. So, um, yeah, anyway. Oh, Ben Reid has just reversed the kick, boys. Oh, oh, oh. So Shane Gaston's got it. I think there might have been, a, I don't know whether it was an elbow into the back or what it was, but um, yeah, against Ben Reid. Oh, the, and the then Frenchman went down. I reckon there was a bit oh, of mayo on it. Got him, yeah, I don't reckon he got him at all, boys. <laughs> I reckon he feathered him, Panda. There was not much, it wasn't a violent act, put it that way. Kicking, Pup Clark's going to mark this. He does in front of Dame Porter. An extraordinary set of uh, scenario there, Panda. I can't, I just can't get all into my head at the moment. No one have to worry about it. That's well, half time. Uh, a siren has sounded to end a one-sided first half in the Wangaratta Derby. It has been all black and white here at the Norm Minns Oval. Hopefully the crowd doesn't go at halftime, Monty. Uh, I tell you what, it has been all the Wangaratta Magpies. They lead 10-9-69 to the Rovers. 1-3-9. That is right. 10 goals to one. On the other side of this, our halftime show here on 2AY and 3 and E. Don't go anywhere. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? 
Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. We're your home of live sport. Every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Mike's alive. Welcome back to Norman's Oval for the Elders Rural Halftime Show. I'm joined by Dan Vaccaro in the bird box for the halftime show. And at the moment, if you're just joining us, we've got half-time Wangaratta 10-9-6-9, leading the Wangaratta Rovers 1-3-9. 60-point leader, Wangaratta half-time, Dan Vaccaro. Wow, what a half a footy from Wangaratta. And <laughs> it's in the same how good Wang were, how poor were the Wangaratta Rovers. Yeah, a bit of both for sure, but probably more so, I think, Wang Magpies have just been faultless that half lot. They were just unbelievable. They moved the ball perfectly off half back. They moved it out of the midfield. They got clearances. Their kicking going forward was good. They just got. They've literally just got everything right. And Rovers have essentially just got everything wrong. And and that shows in the scoreboard a nine goal difference. So um, Rovers a little bit pr- a little bit of pressure going into the first sort of ten minutes of that game. It's just dropped off completely since. So that second quarter, effectively, it's a really really harsh thing to say about any team. But they were witches hats in large parts of that quarter. They just brought absolutely no pressure and Wang being such a good team just were able to essentially do as they please going forward. Probably one of the, the poorest things that Wang Rota Rovers in on the moment is they're exiting from D50. They're just turning over. They're going long every time and yeah. it's turning over straight away and they're not quick enough on transition defence to then man up and there's loose guys everywhere. They're having yeah. shots from basically really good positions just because of how slow the Rovers are to, to get back on defence. Yeah, that's exactly right and I think even more so just going long, it's creating predictability in their exit out of the back 50 and it's going to the same person every time. Murray he's getting his football and then he's just literally kicking it to the contest exactly the same so it's just becoming super predictable for Wang Magpies to set up and they are such a talented outfit that they're able to yeah literally just get the ball and do as they please when they turn it over and quickly just run through our goal kicker so for that first half for Wang Rada Paddy Warner's kicked the three he's doing a great job he's opposed to Sam Murray Michael Newton's got two and then singles to Luke Saunders Kel Moore Dan Sharrick Ben Reid and Jesse Smith who kicked the national ripper from the pocket while for the Wang Rada Rovers the single goal goes to Alex Murray Mark Lou. If we have a look at the 40 wing stats, Dan, what are they telling us? Oh, the biggest thing is the inside 50 count, first and foremost. So 38 inside 50s in that half for Wangaratta, which is awesome. And then Wangaratta Rovers have only had 15 inside 50s for a whole half of football. So that's really, really bad. And the worst thing about it is, and I'm not sure if I did miss one, but it would have been zero marks inside 50 from Rovers that half. So that is no marks great, inside 50 on effectively a dry footy as well. So it's not wet. It's There's no excuses there. And Rovers have marked it 10 times. So that's not even amazing on... Magpie standards, but that is still, yeah, 10 more marks inside 50 as well from 38 entries is, yeah, he's pretty poor going forward. And look, their players have just been so good. Like, even you look at blokes that haven't got a lot of the footy, they're still using it really well. Like, Jackson Clark, he's only had eight disposals. I feel like he's been fantastic. Yeah, like, every time, he's got, every time he's got the football, he's been awesome. And they've been 50 metre kicks and they've been to targets. And the same as Dane Porter, only seven touches as well. But he's been really, really good. His pressure um, around the footy, Dane Porter, has been fantastic yeah, today. I think it feels like he's had three or four each time he goes and gets one. 
he's just right. yeah, he's putting pressure on, then he's getting a hand on one and it's bouncing up, he's getting yeah. one touch, but he's probably done three or four acts in those possessions. That's exactly right. And you look at Sharrick and Jackson Clark, they've only had seven and eight touches. I actually feel like they've brought more to the game than what, say, Dylan Stone, who's had 19 for Rovers, who has been good, but he's had no impact. No impact. So at that's all. that's the difference. And then obviously Dan Sharrick, who I think's probably been best on along with Warner, he's had 19 and a goal, so he's just been amazing. Brad Melville, 13. And Cam Barrett's also, he's only had eight touches. I feel like he's been good off half back. So it's amazing how well they're able to share it around where Rovers is probably one or two blokes getting a lot of the footy off half back, but they're doing nothing with it and just absolutely no pressure whatsoever. Mark. They're just not hurting Wangaratta at all with any of their possessions. Yeah, you know, they've looked dangerous probably two or three times when they moved the footy really quickly, yeah. but there's probably been a bit of luck involved in that with someone falling over or a free kick paid, which we've seen a couple of times that have really allowed them to transition the footy. But other than that, they have not been able to get any flow whatsoever, which I think we spoke about in the pregame that could happen because they've probably been a little bit poor for a few weeks now, the Rovers. Obviously, they beat Wang, uh, Yarrawonga at home three weeks ago now, obviously with the bye last week, and then lost to North Aubrey on the back of that game. And you just thought maybe they're starting to hit that downward trend and it yeah. sort of feels like that's what's happening. You, you're spot on. And I'll put the question to you, and I, I guess we've talked about it at the start of the year and we've mentioned it a few times. Do you put their... Incon they're, they're the most inconsistent team in the comp. There's no hiding that. Um, probably uh, along with Wodonga as well, who started well and are shaping. But Rovers, is their biggest issue probably so many of their players aren't training together? Is that... A, you've probably been around the coaching ranks a, a lot more than most of us on the team, but is that a big issue or oh. is, do people overlook that and put the inconsistency down to, I don't know, coaching or Yeah, or I'm going to go with the coaching side. I feel an inexperienced coach probably doesn't have enough experience around him off the field. I, I look yep. in their box and it doesn't really stand out with guys that have got a lot of coaching experience with yep. a guy who's only 24, 25, I think Sam Murray's first time coaching. It's a very tough gig and he's gone to a club with a lot of young guys and as we said a lot of travellers, which everyone knows about, that's just how they do it. All their yep. guys want to come back and, and play which is great for the club. Like, the, a lot of them are locals. There are yeah. some recruits, but a lot of them are locals that travel back. Correct. And you've had good teams in the past that have had a lot of blokes travel for, um, from Melbourne and not necessarily train together. I remember when Murderford were really good, that probably two or three years ago when they were still making that top four every single year. They had half their team yep. travelling back from Melbourne with the Sharps and the, the Wales when they were all reciting there. So I guess you can't... That is probably a little bit of a cop-out. So the way that you've put it down to probably the coaching and the, and the personnel... Well, they had the same right. amount of travellers last year with Darren Kresel coaching and they were a much more consistent Correct. side, it felt like. It felt yep. like in-game they are able to change things on the fly, whereas yep. now it's Sam trying to coach from out there. Like I heard him yelling at Tom Boyd in that second quarter to come back and be that yep. loose, whereas if that was Kresel coaching, the runner would have been out there and would have been done probably three or four minutes earlier. Correct. And, and, and things can be done a lot more quicker than what they are with Sam being out there as the coach on the field. Yeah, you're absolutely spot on. And I guess Sam will get that with more experience. But you look at someone like Kreza, obviously last year, who's a fantastic coach. But he's coached for so long and he's played at the highest level as well. So he's able to change those things on the fly. And he's able to probably create that regime during the week where players that are coming in from Melbourne and how they're going to handle themselves, where obviously Sam Murray hasn't done that. And, and I guess it shows on the weekend now. Yeah, absolutely spot on. So we, we turn our, our attention forward to the second half. What What's the goal for Rovers here? You've got to say the game's probably over, which you called very early on, Dan, which I yeah. actually backed you in this way. This time it was right. <laughs> but what, what what do we want to see from the Rovers to say, well, right, this game isn't a complete waste. Do they need to win this second half? Do they need to be yeah. you know, within maybe 12 goals and go, yep, they've done a few things, they've changed a few structural things yeah. to be able to show us that you know, if they had started that from the start of the day, that they're right in a game come a final? Yeah, you're probably looking at it, I don't know, there's probably two ways you can look at it. You can almost look at it from a <laughs> from a point of view is that Wayne Rovers still probably feel that they're going to be back playing finals come the end of the year. Well, that's what they're going to be thinking internally anyway. So you can probably look at it as a tactical side. You don't want to lose by 100, 110 points plus when that top five is going to be really tight come the end of the year with Wodonga and Lavington and even North Albury. So you could even just tr sort of try and stem the bleeding a little bit if you really wanted to play that tactical side and not actually get a huge percentage loss. But also, you probably, if you want to look at the other end as well, you're probably just going to have to flick the magnets around. You probably want to get Sam Murray into the midfield or even forward. Try something different. He's a talented player um, and he's almost wasted off half-back, really. He's playing into Wang Magpie's hands. So maybe Dylan Stone, Sam Murray, forward of the football. Put Brody Filer where he plays his best footy. He played in the first quarter up forward. Play him in the midfield. He's one of the best clearances players in the game. Play him in the midfield. You're 10 goals down. That's probably the number one thing you want to do. Start winning it in the coal face um, and seeing if you can peg it back to, you know, 30, 40 points at three-quarter time and make it respectful. Well, I think you said at one stage during the call that Brody looked really frustrated, um, which he did. He came off a couple of yeah. times. He was really frustrated. And I don't blame him. He's one of our premier midfielders in the competition. He got stuck forward for so long. I, don't, I think he went to one centre bounce in that 
in that uh, half and of footy, which is unbelievable for a guy that's so talented and so good, and we know what he can do. He is, and he, it's not like he's been dead. Like, he's been nowhere near the like where the football actually is, and he still managed to find nine touches. So he's almost just sort of, like, ready to explode. So just put him in the midfield and see what he can do. And he, someone like Brody Philo, who's probably at his best, when he was at Raiders, he was the best player in the competition, one of the best players I've seen playing the O&M when he's on. Just get him in the... And he can actually change. He can actually change four or five goals in that third quarter just off his own boot. So that's what they've got to do. Flip the magnets around, get... Pe- Get the footy in the hands of Sam Murray forward to centre half, Brody Philo, Dylan Stone, those guys. Yeah, absolutely. I think you hit the nail on the head. I'd love to see Sam just throw the magnets around, but for Wangaratta, it would be good to good to see them just go on with this and probably win by 120, 130 points and really show us what they're about. Yeah, so all about for them in the next half is absolutely just sending a message out to the league and absolutely burying Rovers. So you, you look at it from the Rovers' point of view, they want to pin it back and change a few things and get that respectful loss. But yeah, Magpies want to make him bleed even more, I think. Foots at the throat. Yeah. Um, we want to win this game by 100 plus, boys. Let's get out there and show them why we're still the best team in the competition. And I know last year, that's what they were saying at three quarter time. We're winning this by over 100 when yeah. they did beat, win and by 120 points. It so. adds a little bit more spice, I reckon, obviously, because of the rivalry as well. But yeah, Wang will really want to be putting foot to the floor this quarter. And just a quick uh, update on our number two stats man, Freaky. He'll be not very happy at the oh. moment with his side. Magpies down by 13 points. Uh, uh, five minutes into the yeah, last quarter, so around the grounds there for 40 winks. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to get a quick netball update from the game earlier on today between Wangaratta and the Wangaratta Rovers down here at the Normans Oval. And that up netball update is thanks to Ray Wright Rural. This is the netball wrap, thanks to Ray White Rural and Livestock Aubrey now servicing. We're clear, by the way, guys. Thanks, that mate. That is the end of the round 10 clash between the Wangaratta Magpies and the Wang Rovers. The Magpies outmuscling the Rovers 68 to 28. However, a very, very great first quarter from the Rovers, even at quarter time. A very young team and Sammy Crouchham and Bet Crouchham in the attack end for the Rovers. Put them on their merry way, but the Magpies were far too strong. Oh, they were, and welcome back to Media Mets before a full game. So they had a tough task. Georgia Clark, Amanda, very hard to stop, and the experience of the Newton through the centre with Hannah Grady and Katie Dean in defence. It was always going to be a tough ask for the Rovers, but bright future, some outstanding young defenders that they have in that side. Molly Murray and Sky Fulton, great to see the effort they put in. And Hannah Grady, the Owen and Live Player of the Day in yesterday's game. Lavington Panthers, a four-goal win over the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, 49-45. to Lavington Panthers jumping the gun. They're out to 10 goals at quarter time, but probably, luckily so, as the Saints really merged and tried really hard and had there been a few more minutes of the game, probably could have scouted the win. Absolutely, it was a great comeback. Christina Gucci, great to see her back on the court for Lovington and it was a, a fantastic duel between her and Sophie Hanrahan. Um, great to see Sophie Hanrahan slip into goals late in the in the game and, and like we said, almost won it for the Murderford Alpine Saints. This has been the Netball Wrap. Thanks to Ray White Rural and Livestock Aubrey now servicing Holbrook. Ground up building products. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support.
Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. What well, you call perfect timing here at the Norm Mins Oval. We are back for third quarter action thanks to Indigo Power and STY medals. It's a 60 point margin to the way the Wangaratta Magpies. That is right, 69 to 9. Let's hope that the Rovers can show something in this second half. We're going to have another stoppage on the Ovens River side of the ground. What would have been the message, do you think, Monty, from Sam Murray at halftime? Oh, let's get on the move. Let's take this on. As you can see, he's gone into the middle too just to start this third quarter. So I love to see that. And they just need to take it on the game on and try and use the footy a little bit better. Stone flicks it over the top to Elijah Amory, gives it back to Stone. This is good run and carry from the Rovers. He kicks it on to Justin Lewis. Lewis from 45. Just the start the Rovers wanted. And a great finish there from young Justin Lewis. A steal line goal of the day. And the Rovers get their second inside the first 30 seconds in this third quarter for STY medals. Yeah, Dylan Stone, how good was he? He was involved two or three times there. And they'd get the ball in his hands a lot more in dangerous positions. He's probably got a lot of touches in the back half in that first half. So I feel if he can get the full footy forward of centre a bit more in this second half, he can definitely get damaging like he did there. Find Justin Lewis and he kicks the goal. Well, you can't do much more than that you, when you've got a, a long way to go. They've kicked the goal inside the first minute, so perfect start for the Rovers. The Ivis Murray up against Knowles. Knowles won it. Jackson Clark gathered it. Handball to Gotchling. Gotchling is wrapped up in a tackle straight away. Oh, Free kicks going to go the way of Hunter Gotchling for a high tackle. Gotchling threads a handball to Jackson Clark. Knowles provides a shepherd. Kicks it inside more. Side forward 50 and Cal Moore. He held off Nathan Cooper with one hand, the left, and he plucked it in on the third bite on his right hand. That's class, uh, Panda. It is. Monty? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cal Moore, you could love to have two or three of him because he can play everywhere on the ground. And Nathan Cooper, as we spoke about, is probably one of the best defenders in the VFL system at the moment. But Cal Moore was just a little bit too good there. 45 degree angle, 40 metres out from goal, he'll kick. So journey distance won't be the issue. Just does have a few issues around this area. Calmore comes in now and he pulled it. But he swings it back for a goal. A little bit of late in-swing, Panda. And he's kicked two. Either that or you're telling me to do something else. 
And the Rovers, after getting the first goal within 30 seconds, the quick reply, Dan, by Wangaratta. Absolutely. And that goal there, for mine, was still a little bit of an anomaly from Rovers. They've started really hot, Magpies. They've had two centre clearances already. Jackson Clark, he's got his hands on the footy three times already. We've been on two minutes and 20 seconds, Robbie. Incredible. And what a finish there. And they've gone to 11 touches, 11 marks inside forward 50. Rovers still yet to have a mark inside 50. And we're in the third quarter. Jeez. The instant reply for the Wangaratta Magpies. 75 to 15 on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. And here they go again, the Pies. Kick to half forward. Will Nolan does well for the Rovers. I think he's played his role today. Kicks it in the middle of the ground. Hebron picks it up, fires it inboard. The double-fisted spoil came from Bordenong for the Pies. Could have marked it. McVeigh did well just to hand pass it. They link up through Sharrick. He handballs to space. Ibis, that's Toby, picks it up for the Rovers, kicks it on the boot, and Philo comes in and marks. He copped a bit of heat there as well from Sharrick. He's down, Philo. 45 metres out directly in front. I think it was uh, McVeigh that got him, wasn't it? Liam McVeigh. Yeah, yeah, just got him a bit high. So. It's a clever chess mark, wasn't it? Montelay was, did yep. it. That's... Yep. And this is right on his range too. He'll arc around a little bit. And he, uh, he distance won't be the issue, I don't think. I think it'll just be the accuracy if he can get it. I reckon he could get both feet. Oh, he could. He could. Yep. Yeah. Easily. 50 metres left or right. Just like Acker. He could have done yeah, that as well, very, Robbie. That's a good comparison, oh, actually, you, the way they both kick. Yep. Good work, Pam. I wonder if Brody will go and play out at Wagunya in a couple of years. <laughs> So Brody will fire from 55 metres. Distance not an issue. It's just the accuracy. And it's across the face from minus score. So the Rovers 2-4-16. The Pies 11-9-75 on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. They'd love to get the ball in the hands more of Brody Philo, wouldn't they, Big Mac? Yeah, he's pretty... He tried hard today. It just hasn't been his day he's, yet. He's had the 10 touches, but I just yeah. feel like they're not putting him around the footy. So he's got to play in the midfield for the whole next half, and he's got to try and get Rovers back into the contest. He's one of those players, when the ball leaves his boot, it makes that sweet sound. Yep. Melville, overhead, missed the mark. Good pressure from McCarthy. Williamson was there as well. And they're going to lock it down for a ball up 55, 50 metres out from the Wangaratta Rovers goal. A goal apiece here in the second quarter. Four and a half minutes gone for STY medals. Umpire Warwick Henderson, who's been outstanding today. Yep. Really enjoyed his work. He just gets things sorted. He's like at the barriers. Might have been a push there. A Mark steward. Blue, a steward. Sharrick got it on to Clark. Clark, a long drop punt. Reed with strength and clever. Couldn't breathe. Getting a free kick. Yep. Yep. He was held. Illegally. Look at Moore running to the gold square. Reedy might just pop this over the top for the big fella. That's exactly what he does. Moore's got the run here. Moore will mark. He does. Not a problem at all. He played Nathan Cooper on a break. He said, you might be playing a bit of BFL, boy, but here's a bit of O&M for you, young man. And this is how we do it up here. The kick there from Reed was smart. He dropped it yep. into a hole in front of him as they were running back. So Moore was the first to react, and uh, Cooper was just on the back foot when they tried to change direction. A lot of players would try and kick it over the top, which gives Cooper the chance to get the fist on it. So great kick from Ben Reed, the coach there. And Cal Moore, as you said a couple of times, Robbie, these are the areas that are a bit, bit iffy for him, but I'm going to back him in from this one. He allowed for the breeze perfectly last time. He momentarily had me bluffed. He starts it left, and he swings it back beautifully. Gee, that's a lovely kick from Cal Moore. He has got three, and for old Nathan Cooper, you feel a bit stiffer. He comes back to play in what they call a lesser league, and he's probably played on the best opponent he'll play on all year. Cal Moore, 11 9 Wangaratta, 2 4 16 to the Wangaratta Rovers, about six minutes gone. Great finish there by Callum Moore, and they are just absolutely purring now, Wangaratta Magpies. I feel like they're betting any side in the comp with the way they're playing today, yep. Robbie. They are just amazing. Back They've gone back. inside, forward 52 times for two marks as well, 12 for the game, and Rovers have only gone inside forward 50 17 times for the whole entire day for only one mark. So they are completely shutting them out of this contest. I don't think the scoreboard attendants have actually put that. That goal on. No, they have now. They've got the tyre power up there. They've had a gutful. And we've got the STY medals doing some wonderful work here in our third quarter on o &M Live. Hope you're enjoying the action on 2AY or 3&E or o &M Optus TV as McNamara for the Rovers fires a hand pass back. Campbell's, uh, sorry, Chamberlain's kick was partially smothered. Hunter Gotchling does well for the Pies. Dylan Van Burlo, not much room. Made it work though. Oh, Reed with strength. He's too strong for young Jace McQuaid here at the minute. Goes in towards the direction of Moore over his head, over Cooper's head as well. Spills away here of Norton. Picked it up tough, head over the football, but he was wrapped up straight away by Jack Gerrish. And we're going to ball up 40 around for the Magpies goal. 81 plays, 15 on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. 
It's going to take something magical for the Rovers to get back in this one, Robbie. Yeah, you're going to have some of your best work. Here comes more oh, Melville, was it? Yeah, a little dribbler. He roved it off the pack very sharply. What Been very good today, Brad Melville, boys. Yeah. He's had 15 touches as well. What's the best comeback in the O&M? Oh, we've done games around about the 40, mid-40s. I remember that Raiders yep. and Yarra final a few years back, probably about six years ago, and I reckon that was about 40 points at three-quarter time. Rovers came from mind to be Myrtleford. To Your old man down for... there, Monty, might know. I'll get on to him. All right. Yeah, it'd be 40 or 50 points, maybe, Panda. I don't think it's going to happen today, young man. I'm just There's... trying to make something I know you happen, are. Robbie. I know, mate. I don't, I'm not going to knock you for that. But you have got to have a bit of sense about you. Here comes Chamberlain. He just heaves, or Lewis, he heaves one to half forward. Take it away, mate. See if you can produce. Well, Tom Boyd's dropped what he probably should have marked at half forward. He's lying now, over the footy, or oh, Mason was circling. They need to do some Easter Sunday sort of stuff here, mate, if you know what I mean. Yes, they do indeed, Robbie. That was a turn up. It was indeed. And we've got a ball up at half forward here for the Rovers. They trail by 50, 65 points, 81 to 16. They clear the footy inside forward 50. It's all Wanga out of Magpies and Dylan Van Burlo takes an intercept mark. Comes out broadcast wing onto Smith, onto the running man Fraser Ellis. He's ditched the long sleeves. He kicks in the direction of Moore, who's getting held by Cooper. And we've got a boundary throw in 50 out from the Wangaratta Magpies goal. I often wonder, reflecting back on Good Friday when the big fella left us, I wonder what sort of arrangements were put in place in the couple of days before Easter Sunday when he reappeared. Makes you wonder. Anyway, you think about that panda. You had a sip of your drink. I had a bit of cheesel that you gave me at <laughs> half time stuck in my throat. Serve you right. It was my last cheesel, you pinch, you bugger. Here comes Lewis. This is better from young Lewis. Thumps the ball to half forward. Tommy Boyd's a chance. Brilliantly done by, Bo by Grossman. Brought it to ground. Dylan Stone off the left foot snap. Rolling to the gold square. Bit of the sprint on here. Boyd leads. Oh, boarding on. Made up ground. Got a fist on it and knocked it through for a rush behind. That is why Michael boarding on is still the number one fullback in the Ovens and Murray Football League. Uh, Panda Bear, minor score, 81 to 16. That's Wangaratta leading Rovers. Third quarter for STY, uh, STY medals. Dan Vaccaro on the 40 wings. Look at him. He's just watching the Collingwood Adelaide game. I've just got them both here, boys. I'm <laughs> studying both. So that that score there, I will give the score an update. 12, 8, 80 to Adelaide's 10, 13, 73. So Pies in front, seven minutes to go in the game. It's around the grounds. All thanks to the Old Town and Country Tavern. That might be pumping the night out at Tarawinji. Big Mac, the yeah. Old Town and Country Tavern. It was electric Friday night out there. So I'm thinking about another venue. The Old Town and Country Tavern is yep. out on uh, Greta Road here in Wangaratta. That will be pumping. Fraser Ellis in his own D50. Just marks and casually kicks. Not great too. Finds the boundary line. Looking for Jackson Clark. Wangaratta... Of course, lead this one by 65 points, 82 to 17 in the third quarter. We played 10 minutes. How are we going with the raffle, actually, Scott, uh, Scotty and Robbie? Yeah, we well, haven't, haven't heard of them yet. No, so. Well, so I better get last it time Monty was up on the scoreboard, they flashed the winning number up. Of course, last time we were here, Wangaratta versus the Lavington. You boys won it. Hey, yeah. Monty, how did that taste, by the way, that lamb? Me, I got none of it. Robbie mm. kept it all to himself. Beautiful. <laughs> Freaky's got it, actually. He pinched it. The number one rule is if you win a metro with it's the yeah. Lads, you got to have a cookout at your yeah, place. Yeah, you share it with your mates. Yeah, That's okay. Brad doesn't have any. <laughs> I haven't broken a law yet. Clearly, we aren't your mates. No. <laughs> well, you, you read the, you've read the room pretty well, <laughs> Pen. I think I have. <laughs> Van Burlo got the chip kick from Anderson, and Dylan Van Burlo's kick wasn't the best. And Look, just to wind up the Good Friday and Easter Sunday thing, Pen, I guess in those days, no mobile phones, and news would have taken a while to spread by the time the big fella had left us, and then he, all of a sudden he's re-arisen. He's arisen, and then, so maybe a good thing, news doesn't travel fast. <laughs> Take it away, mate. You ponder that. God, will indeed, as Kelly fires a hand pass off to Kelly. This is great link-up play here by the black and the white. Sharrick inside 50. Beautiful delivery once again. Mawson's concrete player of the day. Ben Reid marks directly in front, 40 metres out. That chain of handballs for the middle. I don't think there's another team in the comp that can move that quickly mm. at pace and that cleanly, and then the kick inside 50 to a leaning man who does not break stride. Absolutely unbelievable there from the Wangaratta midfield, and Ben Reid just too strong on the lead. Geez, you'd love Dan Sharrick.
kicking that footy inside 50 oh, every single time. How would you like that pan I reckon out? Dan Vaccaro had it. Yak would have kicked 20 in a year, I reckon, as well. Maybe even 50. Second in the goal kicking with 20. And the, <laughs> the winner kicked 115. Ben Reid comes in and it's across the face through for a minor score. He let Dan Charrick down there. The Magpies go to 83. The Rovers to 17. That's right on a Harvey Norman betting third quarter scoreboard. We played 12 minutes on the Maccas time clock. Big Mac for the Old Town and Country Tavern. Well, Reedy nearly marked the kick in. Charrick mopped up. Back to McVeigh. Left foot kicks. A good one underneath it. Knocked away, though, from Jesse Smith. There might be a free kick yeah. coming on here. There is. Mont, what would you see, yeah, mate? Yeah, just held on a little bit long there. Beta Kelly in the tackle on Dylan Stone. So the ball... Oh. I think he was going to pay advantage there, but no, they're going to bring it back, which is a yeah. right decision. So almost a professional free kick from the Warrior there, wasn't it? Yeah, I think he just held on just that little bit long to make sure Dylan Stone felt it because he's uh, been all right in this third quarter, Dylan. Yeah, he's been okay most of the game. And look at this. What are his numbers, that? Dan? Who was that? Sorry, go again. Oh, he's too busy watching, watching the, the Collingwood Adelaide you, game. Who, who are we, we after? Nah, it's stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, Freaky Neville, wouldn't have missed Neville it. Neville Hogan, mate. Who do you reckon? <laughs> Dylan Stone. Yeah, yeah. Good guess. 23. Right. Fantastic. Sharp work there from Dan Vaccaro <laughs> and 40 wing stats. He did this for the Hawthorne St Kilda game just as well the, about three or four weeks Hawthorne ago. Hawthorne started at 442. So. He just shut up shop oh. and did not even provide anything, our man Dan. No discipline. There's Barrett. Right. Oh, won a hard ball. Got it out to Grossman. Good return. Clever by Van Burlo. Tapped it to Hunter Gotchling. Lovely way to kick to the Warrior. Look at the ball there, the Warrior. He works his way to the cricket pitch. He does his best work in there. Oh, he's oh. been slinged, they say. The Warriors <laughs> milked that a treat. He was at ground level. He, how could you sling the Warrior on his guts? Way go, Panda. Kelly, his kick. Oh. Oh, hangs a long time in the air. And Mark Anderson... Copped it from Paddy McNamara, all fair. It was a great contest. Oh. Anderson Marks delivers inside 50 to his mate Ben Reid out the back, who read it like a book. Yeah, what a contest there between McNamara <laughs> and Mark Anderson. And Anderson just jumped straight to his feet, just showed that it didn't worry him at all and found the target inside 50. Great use of the footy again by the Wanger out of Magpies going inside. Did you see that, Dan? I did see that, mate. Good yeah, man. that was their 15th mark inside 50 to Rovers, one for the game. Panda, so I was on to that. You were indeed as you flick down and you have a look at the... Uh, what's the score in that game, please? Uh, 12 9 81 to Adelaide, 10 14 74. Ben Reid comes in. He makes no mistake this time. Through for another sausage roll to the Wangaratta Magpies. They go to 13 11 89. The Rovers 2 5 17 on our Harvey Norman betting scoreboard as we tick up towards the 15th minute mark on the Macca's time clock. Scott Montgomery, take your pick if you're a Wanger out of Magpies forward at the minute. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Some of this delivery coming inside 50 we don't see very often at all, and they've just been class all day. The Wanger out of mid, uh, midfielders and half forwards delivering an inside 50. If you're tall down there, you'd be loving it right now. Yeah, they're absolutely putting together an absolutely unbelievable performance today. So 45 inside 50s to 20 for the game. So and, that's huge. And Dan, their percentage is getting absolutely caned here at the it's moment. Mold, yep. yep. Especially the that's going to come into play at the back Ooh. end. End of the yeah. year too with Wodonga, Lavi and North all pushing for that finals. Murray got in the clearance. He kicked it to half forward, but Barrett leads D Barrett leads Dylan Stone oh. in the race for the ball. What's he paid there? Deliberate, which I don't think that was part of the uh, rules here. No, I've seen a few deliberates yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, yep. Pan has been big on that. I haven't seen one yet. Stone plays on. I did just before, actually. You saw that Kicks one. Kicks it long into the gold square. Nolsey does well, like a rover. Have a look at him. Hamble had a little bit too much heat on it. Gotchling did well. Got it to Melville. How about that for a clever look away kick? It's got to sit for Jesse Smith. It does. And Smith just pivots and shakes and he kicks it nicely there to Jackson Clark on centre wing. His number's Jackson Clark, Dan. Jackson Clark has had the uh, 12 touches. It's been okay. Melville's He's been very good with the footy, Pan. He has. Melville's yeah. kick wasn't great. And shut is first there for the Rovers. Sees it over the boundary line. It'll get thrown back in to play by this young gentleman. Jeez, Noel's been good today. Just yeah. a quick around the grounds too. It is 81 to 80 in favour of Collingwood. Three minutes ago in that match as well. Up against Adelaide. So Melville at the back of the stoppage. Fires it inside again for the Wenger out of Magpies. Shut. Little dainty hand pass to Murray who goes back into traffic. Oh, no. His left foot kick was really ordinary. Kicks it to a dangerous oh. position. Barrett came through hard and just collected McCarthy. He didn't mean to. Yeah. He yeah. had his head over the football, and yeah. McCarthy has a free kick in his own defensive 50. Monty? Yeah, no malice there at all from Cam Barrett, yep. but free kicks there, still made high contact. So good decision by the umpire, but yeah, nothing wrong with it. On the Harvey Norman scoreboard, 89-17, Wangaratta lead. 
This TY medals. Here goes Dylan Stone. Ooh. He might go the whole journey here. He's had one bounce, a left foot dinky kick. Nowhere near Shane Gaston and Dylan Van Burlo. The Dutchman and the Frenchman. There you go. Did you actually see the acrobats here next to me? I didn't see a single thing. Uh, Elmer Markle who sort of kept going. He couldn't stop on the bike track and up and over the fence. It was there quite, quite theatrical. <laughs> I liked it. Oh, I, likes it. <laughs> I, I hope Travis Cartwright picked that up on uh, no nah, just gives us a his very, present somehow very playing still in Bali old Travi don't worry about that fellas he just hasn't quite tuned back into Australian life at the moment <laughs> but he's he's chipping away he is a great man here's Paddy Murray oh, oh Paddy oh. he snuck up on you Juice Newton he caught you with your strides down poor old Patrick and then Juice gave him a little bit of a rough up. I reckon Juice up. might have let him know about it a little bit there too, Paddy, because I don't <laughs> I'm think Sam lost it. too tonight. sure what Sam Murray was doing there. It was Newton's <laughs> free kick and didn't <laughs> want to give him the footy. Juice has got it at half back, and it's not your day, it's not your day, and that's not a bad kick from the Juice, and he finds Jackson Clark. Great defensive heat from Michael Newton. It was a Mawson's concrete play of the day. They're going through the middle again, the Wangrater oh. Magpies. They're surging forward. Grossman's kick, trying to find Norton. Good contest out there. Oh. Spills the way of Dane Porter. Hand passes inside 50 towards Melville. Warner caught one high. Did he? No. Warwick Henderson says, I'll have it. Ball it up. 30 metres out of the Wenger Adam Good Magpies call. goal. Yeah. His perfect position there, Panda. Very much. And he's umpired beautifully all day. So the Pies 89. The Rovers 17 on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. There's another free kick Ooh. here as Murray Waite is brought to ground. And players just starting to show a little bit of aggression here from both sides. Yep. And there you go. That's why Henderson is and such a good yeah. umpire. Free kick, Monty. Yeah, against Alex McCarthy there. Just uh, no need for that after the whistle had already gone. So the umpire's going, no, nah, Murray Waite, you have a shot at goal. 20 mate. Is he out straight in front? That's the frustration coming out in Rovers yep. today, boys. It's been happening for the last probably half. Um, disappointing. And Melville just standing the mark there next to... McCarthy saying, oh, you're a bit stiff there, mate. <laughs> so, oh, I'm not sure. Probably can't repeat <laughs> it. So, Murray White, 30 metres out directly in front, just to put another dagger into the heart of the Rovers. Makes no mistake. It's blowing right out now, out to 78 points in the Wangaratta Derby. 95 plays 17. We played 20 minutes in this third quarter for STY medals, and the first for Murray. It is, and what a finish there. And they're just absolutely dominating now, Wang Magpies. So they're up to the nine inside 50s this, this quarter, 47 for the game. And Wangaratta Rovers have only had the 20, uh, 25 inside 50s as well. So the Marks inside 50, 15 to 1 throughout the day. And Dan, Jackson Clark's been really good this quarter with five touches, and he's had 13 for the day. Dan Sharrick's up to four, and Brad Melville's had the four this quarter as well. Pando, you were saying the average winning score at this ground. We'll get back to this shortly as Murray wins the ball out of the middle with a long kick to the top of the gold square. Well defended by Grossman. will go out of bounds. The average winning score by Wangaratta on this ground against Wangaratta Rovers since 2018 has been... 93 points. Well, they're tracking that way now, aren't they? They are. They are, they are currently 13 goals. Go past that pretty goals, quick, I reckon, boys. At 78 points. Last time the they played here, it was 121 points. Here Game Porter 300. Murray was on his right foot, so he had to turn back into traffic. Handball to Gaston. He wasn't able to hold on to a hot one. He was being tracked by big Shannon Noel. And it'll be a boundary throw in. You yeah. throw that in every couple That's, of weeks, yeah, I Robbie. Normally, I normally like it. I normally <laughs> chuck another little one in with it. I'm surprised our man Dan Vaccaro hasn't gone with Muzzball today as well. Oh, yeah. don't. Nah, that's it. As Gaston got tackled there. No, don't do it. Muzzball's worked just about as well as Buzzball, just <laughs> quietly, boys. <laughs> Vicious this from game. Dan Vaccaro. No, you're not wrong, Dan. <laughs> Ball up inside forward 50 here not for the Wangaratta Rovers. I'm surprised Dan's still with us. Of course, watching the Collingwood Adelaide game as well. Score, please, Dan. Two points down Adelaide with 43 seconds to go in Adelaide's half. You can start calling that one in a second. Probably more interesting than the Wang Derby at the minute as Gerrish goes inside 50 with a tumbler for the Rovers. Out of bounds on the full. Harvey Norman betting scoreboard 14 11 95. The Magpies. The Rovers 2 5 17. 21 played in this third quarter for ST White Medals. Look at this. I may as well call it myself because the call it yourself over there. Can you just give us another 30 seconds, Panda? No your worries. Best? I'll 28 best. seconds. It's in Adelaide's half. So McVeigh just chips it across goal <laughs> over to Dane Porter, who's been brilliant once again today. Keep going, Pen. Yeah, I will indeed. Monty, you take it away <laughs> down there on the boundary. <laughs> I can't. What's going on? What's the score up there, boys? One point lead. One two point, point lead. They're going forward. Adelaide go forward. But 14 Charlie seconds. Two. 
So Saunders has it for the Wenger and the Magpies. Uh, they're going to get out of jail again, the Pies. Pies so have Colin, done it again. So the Pies here will win, and so will Collingwood. Gerrish fires a hand pass inboard looking for Noah Amory. He was spent. The hand pass there from Ellis just missed Mark Anderson. Toby the Ibis Murray hand passes down the line to McCarthy. He had more time than he didn't look. Could have been a free kick against Tom Boyd there on Dylan Van Burlo. Van Burlo does well. Hand passes off to Fraser Ellis. And here you go, Big Mac. You're yeah. back with us. Oh, is it my turn, is it? It is yeah. yours. <laughs> Porter kicks in the middle of the ground to the bald headed warrior. He handballs it off to the quicker legs of Fraser Ellis. He drives it long. Newton from behind marks. <laughs> Beautiful use of the body as well. He just nudged Pup Clark out at the right time and Juice Newton marks 30 out directly in front. Final score in the MCG, please, Daniel. Uh, Pies won by two points, boys. Win another 82 to 80. Uh, out of jail again. So just quickly too, boys. 10 inside 50s for Wang this quarter and they've taken six marks inside 50. So incredibly efficient. Yep. Juice Newton, he's kicked two today. Two goals, one. I've got him for Panda. And this will be... Got him 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Two, two. He comes in and he's got 3-2. He's kicked a beautiful goal there. Right in front of the Wangaratta Football Netball Club club rooms, which they're going to have a good bit of fun tonight, I reckon. And they extend the lead out to now. It is 100. I think that's a ton up, Panda, is it? Yep. 101 to 17. And Rovers kicked the first goal of this quarter. And it, since then, it's been very bleak, Panda. It has Monty boundary side for Waters. Yeah, just the transition footy there straight away. As soon as they won the footy across half back through Dylan, Dylan Van Burlo, they transitioned the footy to Porter, who then got it through the middle. And smart play by Matty Kelly. He just realised the leg speed was coming from behind in Fraser Ellis. Gave it to him and gave the block. And away they went. When you're breaking the centre like that, you should be hitting targets inside 50, which they are able to do. And a nice strong grab from Michael Newton, who's starting to wind back the clock a bit a little bit this year, I reckon. I thought he started yep. a bit slow, but he's definitely been great uh, this year for the Wangaratta Magpies. It's offensive heat as well. He's applying a lot of pressure, which is intimidating for the opposition. Here's Ryan Hebron firing a hand pass in the direction of Noah Amory, who had to pick it up. He had Van Berlo coming the other way. Left foot snap on goal. Would have been a great finish from Noah Amory. Didn't quite get there in the end. The Rovers had one more point to their pretty bleak scoreline here. 2-6-18. The Magpies 15-11-101 on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. Third quarter action for STY medals, Big Mac. Yeah, Grossman, he kicked it in. He got the return handball from Van Burlow. Then it got a little bit messy. Sammy Murray corralled this handball with a bit of hope. Gotchling was tackled. And Gotchling, there's no free kick there. It's going to be a pull up. That between centre wing and half forward for the Wangaratta Rovers. 2-6-18. They trail Wangaratta 15-11, 101. It is one-way traffic here. A, little, a, lot of, a lot of the fans from the Prime train on our uh, O&M Optus TV yeah. what do you stream. A lot of comments saying that this wouldn't be the case if the Prime train was played. I said to you at oh. half time and suggested to Monty, no Prime, no Rovers. There Can we get Monty's view on that? Yeah, well. There are lots of comments from <laughs> Shane Pony yeah. saying uh, 80, late in the third quarter and 80 points behind. This prime train would have bought aggression from the start. <laughs> Okay. Moore won the tap, and now a quick kick there by Sharrick was smothered. A rolling tackle there from Dane Porter was almost a technically perfect tackle under the current in, in the current environment. Panda, if you know it makes sense, yep, you can decipher that. Take it away, mate. One oh one to eighteen. Maggie's the leading Rovers. Give us some of your best, mate. Thank you, Robbie. They go back inside fifty. Tommy Boyd first there. The bounce got around him. Grossman there for the pies and. So many numbers calmly across defensive lines for the Magpies. They switch the footy brilliantly. Them and the Yarrawonga Pigeons, the two best transition sides in the competition. Probably the two best sides as well. Up there with the Aubrey Tigers. This race for the top three just heats up, yeah. doesn't it now, Robbie? Well, it's, I think it's so much shorter. I top think it three is, up. yep. You know, poor old Tommy Boyd today, mate. If it was rain and dim sims, you'd get hit with a potato cake, wouldn't he? <laughs> it just hasn't... The bounce hasn't... <laughs> Either way, it's a win. Oh, Either no. way, it's a win. Where did that call Dimmy. come from? But it just hasn't been his way, has he? Gee, Mark Lou got one high across the chop set from Cal this Moore. Is what I'd like to see old Mark Lou go in the guts yeah. a little bit more. Put good him in the kick. rack for a little bit. Real good kick. And it's going to be marked by Ryan Hebron. Sort of half forward pocket. Grandstand side of the ground. Kicking to the Evans Street's ground. Monty... 
he might kick this. Yeah, I'd, I'd back him in. He's a very highly talented player. We just haven't seen enough of him today. The ball's been in the Wangaratta players a lot more often than the Wangaratta Rovers. So just Ryan Hebron from here is a massive chance, I would have thought. Just the 13 touches for Hebron today. Those kids walking past those hot chips. Oh, hand hand come Jeez, up I here, please. Love. Hey, give us one of them, mate. <laughs> Yeah, get stuffed, he says. Nice kick from Hebron. Oh, hits the old Wilbur post. Hit by another dim sim or whatever you like, Panda. Just fell out of the sky. Brushed the inside of the post. Two goals, seven, 19. Gee, you missed this, Travis, haven't you? You go away for a week and we, we don't get any better. You sure he missed this? <laughs> Are you sure? He was sipping cocktails on the beach in Bali and now he's sitting here in the bird box filming this crap, Robbie. Well, you, you tell us how McVeigh's going to go off this. Step. No, you won't. The siren beats all in the end. Third quarter done and dusted for SD Thank White God. medals. And it's an 82-point margin to the way of the Wangaratta Magpies. 15-11, 1-0-1 over the Wangaratta Rovers. 2-7-19. That quarter went 27 minutes. Dan Vaccaro is going to give you your Optus quarter's best right after the break. Remember, on o &M Live, you won't miss a thing. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. It's hands on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today.
at 2AY, where your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Oh, and mind, Mike's on 2AY. Three-quarter time here at the Norm Inns Oval. One-way traffic all day since the start of the game. The Pies lead by 82 points over their fierce rivals, the Wangaratta Rovers. Dan Vaccaro, Optus caught his best pleas in that third quarter, even though you were watching another game of football for the majority. Yeah, just had to get a couple of uh, tips from you boys, really. But no, Jackson Clark, I thought, was fantastic. He only had six touches, but that's been his story all day. He actually hasn't had a lot of the footy. Every time he's had it, he gets in the cull phase. His clearance work was unbelievable that quarter. Uh, and for Rovers, it's just really who's getting a lot of the footy. Dylan Stone, he got eight touches that day, so he hasn't stopped trying. He's probably been one of their better players, but apart from that, there's not many others, Robbie. Hey, Sam Murray was getting into them at three-quarter time, it looked like Monty. What did he have to say? Yeah, he said, we're just going to finish this game and show that we've got a bit of spirit about us. We can't just let this blow right out now. We need to try and keep it around here and try and win this quarter, because if uh, if they really blow us out here, it really puts a big dint into what we want to do going forward while listening to to uh, Benny Reid on the other side. He was pretty happy with what's happening, the way they're moving it through the midfield. He said, we just got to keep going, keep linking up with hands, take them on with our legs as well, and just get it nice and deep to the big fellas. So I expect that to keep going on for the Wangaratta Magpies in this last quarter. Poor Travi. All he wants to do is eat his pie. Yeah. And the game's about to start. Our cameraman here, well, he was literally trying. He's, he's three bites into it. Now it's going to go cold in the next half an hour. It won't go cold, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, he's got a little bit more diligence to duty than you, Vaccaro, who just abandoned ship watching the AFL. So well, it's, you know what? It's going to get a lot worse during our post game because the Hawks play at 4.40. Yeah, Send I'm, him home now, mate. Take it away, Big Mac. I will, you might go home, Dan. Have yeah, the, I'm, have the I'm day packing off. up now. You haven't been here since half time. <laughs> Now they won it out of the middle here, the Rovers. This is better. Mark Lew into the middle of the ground. Wins it, kicks it long. Boarding on was there. Here's a chance. Lewis over the back. Crumbing goal. Missed to the right-hand side. They would have replicated what they did in the start of the third quarter. Kicking a goal inside the first 20 seconds. But he missed two goals. Eight. 20 to 15, 11, 101. This is the fourth quarter for Apco Wangaratta Panda, oh, yes. the best in the business. The best in the world. And you were speaking about dim sims and potato cakes yes. before, Robbie. Yes. And there's plenty of those stocked in the Bay of Marie and a whole lot of other beautiful stuff as well from I hope so. the guys at Apco Wangaratta as Murray sends the Rovers back inside forward 50. Not a great kick. Grossman. He's been good. He has been good, just playing his role beautifully. Done so for a very long time. Jackson Clark went one-handed. Strange in the end, had more time. The Rovers are there in numbers. They go back inside. 2v1 here. Sam Murray's oh. trying to claim the mark. No, sir. Sam, left foot snap on goal. It's a beauty. And I reckon it's there from Sam Murray. A steel line goal today. A big cheer here from the Wangaroa Rovers fan. Fans at the Norm Inns Oval. And that's only their third goal. We've played around a minute here in this last quarter. They go to 3-7. The Magpies are 15-11. That's in the work locker. Wenger out of scoreboard. He has been pretty good today, Sam Murray, boys. He's had 27 touches and a goal. So he has got a lot of the footy. I know he does take the kickouts, but he has been one of their better players for the day. The yeah, 11 kickouts. The time uh, hasn't <laughs> 11. clicked on here, Robbie. I know, and I forgot to do mine. You did. The I one time you forget to turn I your stopwatch on. Hate electronic scoreboards. Just, Just starting to rain down here too, boys. Oh, um, well, don't worry us, Mont. Yeah, I know. That doesn't <laughs> Surprise me at all, yeah. <laughs> Sitting down the boundary on rain days, yeah, usual. <laughs> no, it's nice well, up here in the bird box. Yeah. Just quietly. So it falls down. They haven't added that goal, did have they, Panda? <laughs> no. Three goals, seven it is. Newton marks for Wangaratta, 65 out from gold. Gets a lead from Reed. Oh, juice. How about that for Lace out? Hit Reedy Fair in the noggin. He falconed it. Gee, it had a bit of pepper on it from juice. It was a real low burner. And it went through Reedy's hands. He kicked it almost. Like one of those dim sims we're talking about, he Panda. Kicked it almost too good there, Newton, to Reedy. And it's going to be a ball up. 30 out from the Wangaratta goal. They lead up 101 to 26. And Panda's left us for momentarily, just making a few little notes, probably about your contract. Ricaro. Moore! Snaps on goal. Kicks a beauty. Cal Moore has four. How about that? Great work from the clearance there. Oh, he's a good player. No doubt about him. 16-11-107. That was a steel line goal today. And Wangaratta Rovers, 3-8-26. About 
Three or four minutes gone in the second quarter. Monty, how'd you like that one? Yeah, he's not bad, is he, Cal Moore? He doesn't mind a goal, and he's so dangerous from those stoppages because he gets in there, gets the ruckman out of the way, and then just follows the footy in. Just a great finish with the snap around the corner there, and he didn't mind it too. He gave a little celebration to the boys, so he was pretty happy with his work. Cal Moore, he's been in fantastic form all year. We talked about it before the game, who the best forward is. He's definitely got a claim, Robbie. Yeah, he's in there, mate. As Travis Cartwright just takes a little bit of time to have another bite of his pie. Beautifully timed from our man, Travi, doing wonderful work on the camera. Let him eat in peace. Oh, I'd just like to point it out. It's a smart operator we're talking about here as Philo. <laughs> as Philo kicks it out wide. Murray, he has tried all day for the Wangaratta Rovers. Hand passes under pressure to Will Nolan. Williamson, a nice spin out of traffic. Done it another time as well. Hand passes it to Shag and Nolan. His kick. Not great. Intercepted oh, by Chris Knowles. Come on, Chris, you're better than that. You did cop a little bit of a clip from Mark Lou, but there was nothing in it. A bit of an ear massage. He was just saying, what about me? As Nolsey goes down. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Good on you. Just stealing yeah. a little bit of Robbie's work. <laughs> Is Luke Francis here for those oh. crappy If puns? you could see Panda in the box right now, he's, he's that happy, happy with himself. So happy. Look at the chance. Yeah, it's coming out of the window. You, want better. Better. Pass Pass out. Out. you reckon Nolsey's better? You're better than that, mate. That's the chest is coming out of the window that, by Panda. That's Cal Moore from the rough contest. <laughs> His kick is a shocker. That went behind the goal. It's actually gone backwards to the other half forward 50 line over there. The Rovers, through Gerrish, win it out and take it away, Big Mac. A look away handball, but his mate wasn't looking, so Jack had to get it back. Another look away handball to McCarthy. I reckon he's been Rovers' best today. Kicks it long down the line. Hebron takes a good mark forward pocket in front of Norton. Hebron spots an option he likes, and it's Alex Mark Lou, who did a bit of gut running. From the middle of the ground, and he's marked 30 metres out directly in front. Chance to kick the Rovers' fourth goal, and it would be Alex's second. Yeah, un unselfish there from uh, Hebron, wasn't he? Probably had all, every right to go back. He took a great grab, go back and have the shot, but found a teammate in a better position, and Alex Markley will go back from about 25 out straight in front. Kicking to the Wang Football Netball Club rooms. Alex Marklou comes in and he doesn't miss a lot from there, Alex Marklou. He threads it nicely for his 25th goal of the season. Wangaratta Rovers fourth today, 4-8. They trail 16-11 Wangaratta and we have gone, I don't know, panning about, about five minutes, About five minutes thereabouts. Yeah. That's on the work locker Wangaratta scoreboard on the Macca's time clock. They've been kicking consolations all day, Rovers. They are up to four inside 50s in the quarter. They're actually winning that stat this quarter against Magpies. They've only got two, so a positive finish to the game is what they're probably hoping for. Sam Murray, he's had three touches this quarter, and he's had 28 for the day, and he's kicked a goal. He's probably tried their hardest. And Dylan Stone's had a 29 for the day as well. Lights on here at the Norm Mins Oval. Rain stayed away, which is brilliant mm. for the Wangaratta Derby. I'm wet. <laughs> Well, you did say before, actually, Monty, that it did start yeah, spitting a little bit It's still spitting rain. a little bit, but it's lightened off a little bit, too. God, it's hardly ducked down to Bunnings and build an arc. <laughs> well, can you please? Or just for next week? <laughs> Sharrick, left foot kick, inside 50. Newton in a tussle there with Pup Clark. Ooh. Oh, Chamberlain was lucky not to get pinned he holding the ball threw there. that out. Gerrish helping out his defence for the Rovers. Reed applied a really good defensive tackle. Will Nolan there. McCarthy's hand pass was just picked off there by Borden. Yongu hand passes to Dane Porter. He flicks it out to Ben Reid, who snaps running on goal, and it's there, is it? Yeah. It's there in the end. The goal umpire yeah. made us work, and he <laughs> eventually <laughs> gives the uh, two-finger salute. <laughs> he was you just wait five wanted minutes? a little bit of me, me, me time. He knew Travi was on him, and Ben Reid kicks his third goal. You the margin leave. is back out to 81 points. Yeah, what a finish there by Wang Magpies. They've been doing it all day, boys. So four inside 50s now for them. Haven't taken a mark inside forward 50, but Dame Porter, Jackson Clark and Sharrick have all got their hands in the footy yeah. this quarter. And just a little bit of mean time from the goal umpire. Well, well Panda going. He's, he's pinching work off me, and now he's clipping gold umpires. Oh, he's doing for it. a bit of mean time. Speaking of, um, speaking of umpires, how's that one in the seconds going? The one that was pronounced oh, dead for about I, I 20 seconds. Him, I, I saw him at half time, and he was up and about. That's so, what you like to see. One of the funniest things I've seen. And here comes Clark. He goes short, low burner, beautiful. Finds Melville. He's a bit out of range. He's got a few options. Cal Moore's lurking out the back here. Cooper's tracking him. Jesse Smith all yeah. alone. All alone. All in alone. That still, yeah. still. Jesse says, what a, well, what about Four me? Four Rovers blokes there, Monty. Nah, he's got all he's got, around. He's, he's going to, oh, you know I'd like to see him do? Go a torpedo. Cal Moore did before. Yeah. I reckon he'll back himself with a drop pun here, Brad. Mont's backed him in. He's going to have to kick it from 55. 
Panda won't have a bar of it. And in comes Melville, and he's going to just kick it to Cooper oh. on the line. <laughs> After all that, the only bloke standing on the line was Nathan Cooper. In front of him was a bald-headed warrior. There's only one winner there, Panda. Was that not Mark Lou? No, it was Mark Lou. Oh, interesting so Mark Lou. play on there from... That was Cooper who got caught holding the yeah, footy, boys. you're right. Nathan Cooper, who just played on. There was no talk out there whatsoever, and Murray White just mowed him down. And Murray White can go back and line up from... He'll kick this from every bit of 50 metres on a slight angle. Yeah, what a chase down from Murray Wade. I don't know what Nathan Cooper was doing. Everyone was nearly in Strange. that area of the ground and just took off like he uh, it was, yeah, no one around him. But, yeah, Murray Wade, very quick from behind and great tackle, great execution. And go back and have a shot from about 45 out. So Murray Wade in the long sleeves, sends it goal bound. Has it got the legs? Yeah. It is. It's there. The Wangaratta Magpies have got their 18th goal. They move to 119, <laughs> the Rovers 32. Did anyone else see that? I didn't. Monty, tell they us, please. got the sunnies knocked off his head. Who did? The, the goal <laughs> umpire. Oh, I and then Kel Moore, while he's trying to get the all clear from the field <laughs> umpires, distracted him trying to give him his sunnies back. <laughs> the goal oh, umpire's no. had an interesting couple of minutes, hasn't he, that fellow oh, down there? I'll tell you what, you reckon the umpire got knocked over in the twos? <laughs> it was funny. Back. That's that the funniest better. thing I've seen. That was the better. The umpire in the twos is the greatest thing I've seen. And now he's... He's given him oh. a polish. Have a look, now oh. he's got him out polishing his um, sunglasses, that is. And he resumes normal duties. Well, it's all happening. He might be a Waters player of the day, that goal umpire. He's a tough nut. He's had a bit of work, I reckon. Have been fantastic today, the umpires, in this game. He's a tough nut. They've had a tough day, goal umpires. And here's Nolsey. Oh, what about the bork and the shake there from Nolsey? Kicks it to half forward. Here's Melville. Kicks down the line. Lead from Moore. Well done, Cooper. That's why he's good. He read that, intercepted in front of Cal Moore. And Nathan Cooper, he'll go short. And he finds Cody shut. And so far, this quarter pen, he's said two goals, three goals to two. Rovers would like to at least try to break even, wouldn't they? Try to get something out of this try game. Try win the quarter. Yeah, that old scenario. The quarter, of course, thanks to the best service station in the world, Apco Wangaratta, Brady Anderson. Oh. He'd be very happy indeed today with Breddy. Jack Gerrish running down the Norman's wing. Fires a handball inboard to McNamara, who retreated backwards to a teammate under a lot of pressure on the Ovens River side of the ground. Stone was wrapped up by about three pies. Nolan wins out. Shag and Nolan wants his left foot, wants to switch the footy to the broadcast side. Over the head of Mark Lou. He's under a lot of pressure from Borden Young, who lined him up from a mile away. Probably took him off the football. Applied a really good tackle on Sam Murray. Oh, yeah. And he's pinned him holding the ball. Great play from Michael Borden Young. Plays on. Jackson Clark goes inside 50, looking for Cal Moore. But the Rovers are there in numbers. There is hacking it out of there was Jace McQuaid. To the wing, and after all that, Sam Murray is marked on centre wing in front of you, Monty, for Waters. Yeah, absolutely. How good was Michael Bordy on there? That tackle was unbelievable because Sam Murray had a fair head of steam up. Anyone, he would have gone through nearly 90% of players in the competition, but Michael Bordy on just set himself and laid that tackle. And poor kick inside 50, it was by Jackson Clark. I'm sure he'd like that one back. Uh, Knowles intercepted the mark, the kick there from the Ibis. Now they run it off half back, ends up with Grossman. Grossman will keep running. Kelly will probably give it back to him. No, he gives it back to Norton. Norton kicks into half forward. Here's a chance for Cal Moore in front of McQuaid. He went left, he went right, and then he slipped over at the crucial time. McQuaid was just clever enough. He's asking for deliberate, and he's not going to get it. No. Or is he? He's, no. he's grabbed the ball, Cal Moore. He said, I'll have a bit of this. I'm going to take it. He has got it. They've He's given got it the to free him. kick. Now, here's a bit of indecision between the umpires here. This is interesting. No. So the so umpires have come together here. Well, Calmore said, hey, if you did it to against no, me throw last in, time, throw in. I could have a bit of it. <laughs> he took it upon himself, Calmore, did didn't exactly he? Exactly right there. He made Maro. his own decision. Give him a whistle, I reckon. Let him umpire. And in the end, <laughs> the young mop-headed boundary umpire said, I'm not having a bar of that, boys. Give it to me, and I'm going to throw it back in. And good on you, young fella. He stood his ground there, Panda, didn't he? Wonder what you can do with a whistle. 119 to 32. The Pies demolishing the Rovers here. Sharrick just able to get a faint little kick out towards Barrett, who's going to be first there for the Pies. He's got a lot of time and space. Wants to come inboard. Oh. Beautiful kick oh. over the top of McCarthy. Oh. It looked like I was going to get intercepted there for a minute. Norton slides in. Just four to centre. Goes out to the Ovens River side. Murray Waite. He's too far out to score. Call lights every are bit on, up. Panda. Yeah, lights are on. No one home for the Rovers. Murray Waite just sits it up. And Toby Murray 
comes out and takes a nice intercept mark. The big Ibis hasn't been his day. Just unfortunately hasn't been no. the Rovers' day. Has you it, get that in footy panda every now and then. Ooh. Sammy Murray flew high. Paddling the ball around here. Was it McNamara? It was. Paddy McNamara is going to give up a bit of ground. Back to Paddy, Paddy Murray. And a clever handball from Paddy Murray. Finds Dylan Stone. Nice kick in the midfield. Finds Hebron. has got a nice build-up. That's a beautiful kick from Hebron. Finds Amory. Elijah Amory now. Goes long. Vacant goal square. Bounce will be critical here. And Grossman led the charge. Ball the ball had enough spin on it, Panda. And it's run out of bounds for a boundary throw in adjacent to the Rovers' goal behind post. They trail 32 to 119. Yep, if you've just joined us, it's about a 15 gold route. 11 minutes gone last quarter. Now here's Panda. He's going to really build this one up. I hope so for Apco Wangaratta, who have got a Bay Marie stacked of beautiful burgers and schnitzel burgers <laughs> and all. They, Pies. Yep, everything under the sun. Jackson Clark was just reefed off the footy. Mark Lou running away from his own goal. Hand pass it to McCarthy. Good pressure and heat around this pill from both sides. And we've got a boundary throw in 60 out from the Pies goal. Plenty, of good, goal. plenty of good food down at Apco, Wangaratta. Pan, Pan, how's he going with the fuel prices, Brady? How's he? Uh, still very strong. Hello. Yep. Good on him. Got about 14 Bowsers down there. They dominate. Work lock of Wangaratta scoreboard. Reads a 87 point margin. To the way the wing are at a magpie. You got an account down there, by the uh, way? I, I, I don't. Oh, right. No. Mm, bugger. Moving on, Big Mac. <laughs> right, here we go. Up she goes, Warwick Henderson. He's been good today. So is McVeigh. They have not had a bad player, Wangaratta, today. Gee, they've been impressive. What's been the most impressive thing about their performance today, Big Mac, for you? For mine, uh, what they did against Lavington, they went from go to woe and they're still maintaining the same pressure on the ball carrier in the last quarter as they were in the first quarter. Well, that's been a real feature of their game in recent weeks that we've seen from them. So Clark won the footy. Here's Dylan Stone. I'll get his stats shortly. He's not, don't give him one there yet, Dan. He hasn't been able to win a clear and set. Killiger Kelly groveling all over the place. He looks like some of the work he does on a mad Monday. He got it out to McVeigh, kicks it towards half forward, and the ball will go out before it goes inside 50, Vaccaro. I forgot what I asked you, but can you just give Dylan, me an answer? <laughs> you asked for Dylan Stone's stats, boy. So he's had 32 possessions today. So he's been really good. Good and on you. Sam Murray has had the 29 and one goal. He's got a text message through from the man, Brett Anderson. Now, is he, was he happy with our work or he was. not? He just said, cheapest fuel and food and wang. And aren't you right, Brady oh. boy? He'd be very happy with Mark and the Wanger out of Magpie's work as well. Jackson Clark, that won't be 15, tried to go towards Beta Kelly. And the boundary line wins out after all. That inside 50 for the Wanger out of Magpies, who have shared their goal scorers beautifully as well. Newton, Reed, Moore. And just quickly on Jackson Clark, he's only had this 20 touches today. I reckon he's been one of Wang's best. He's been fantastic all day today. Toss back in. Shut on hands and knees. Fires it out towards Stone, who just keeps on trying. <laughs> just kept his feet there. He did well. Left foot kick, swings it around the corner. Oh. A bit of frustration shown there oh. from Sam Murray, who pushes Mark Anderson, who marks in front of him. Breddy's boy. Breddy's boy. He goes inboard towards Fraser Ellis. He's a bit cheeky like Brett, isn't he? 87-point margin. Work locker, Wanger at a scoreboard. Macca's time clock on 13 minutes. They've won a lot of the 50-50s today, Wang. Here's McCarthy. He's a high floating handball. I think Mommy Chamberlain out there and McQuaid under pressure. Sold him up the river there. And the whistle going's going to ball it up. So I wonder if, you know, if Brady, the excitement of a big win by Wangaratta might say, by, oh, look by, at you. By, by, I know what you're doing right by now, six Robbie. Tim Sims in the seven one three. You know, something like that. Just mix it up a bit, <laughs> I mate. I thought you or, were going to ask or, for a free food. No, no, no. I wouldn't be. Oh, was asking for a free. <laughs> exactly right. Tank of fuel. I'm, I'm getting my way to that. <laughs> Brett, here's Nolan out the back with a left foot kick. It's pretty good too. To half forward, good grab. Spinning around and taken now is Elijah Amory. He'll go short. The Ooh. kick's a dangerous one, though. Shag and Nolan backs up for a little bit more of the action. Look away, Hamble finds its way to Gerrish. That came from Williamson to the top of the gold square. Fist away, yeah, Hebron coming through Grossman. Look at him, threads his way through traffic. Hamble to Gotchling. He got met up there by Philo. Elijah Amory came back for another crack at it. Quick hands there by Dylan Stone. Philo went back for another go. If you've just joined us, it's not very close, but it's good, exciting action. Ooh. And Wangaratta going to get a free kick here. I'm not yeah, sure he's what played for. too high, but played I reckon it too he high. It in the side. Ooh, I thought Tyler Norton. Yeah. 119 to 32. If you just joined us and thought it was close, it ain't. 
Wanger at a lead. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> summation enough. all day. That yep. is there. I've that is summed it up beautifully. Today, no, you've done yeah. very well, Big Mac. Don't be so hard on yourself. Oh, I'm pretty happy, actually. For the old town and country tavern, Dane Porter <laughs> kicks it out of defence. Finds Jackson Clark on centre wing. Ovens River side of the ground. They're just running through the middle with numbers here. The Pies. It's party time. Beta oh. Kelly. He'd love a goal. Hooks oh. it into the pocket. The Murray. Oh, just dropped an absolute sitter. It was almost too easy. Oh. He's able to get around the opposition. Hand passes on to McVeigh. Left foot snap. Goal bound. Oh. And it's not there. <laughs> I thought the Rovers play down there just let it That's bounce through. That's the biggest sitter oh. I've seen this year. No, no. The ball was that high from Kelly, the warrior. It hit him in the guts. He got dizzy looking at it. It hit him fair in the guts. Through for a minor score after all that. The Magpies moved to 18-13, 120. 121, sorry. The Rovers 4-8-32 oh. on the work like a winger at a scoreboard. There he comes Gotchling on the Saunders. The backman loved to kick goal. Kick. Top of the gold square. Here's Callum Moore. You're just going to dish this one back to Paddy Warner. Now he does with a look away. Warner kicked this. Oh, he does. And he, I don't think he squared it up. Here's Murray Wade. Oh. And he takes a good grab. He dropped an absolute sitter. And now he's taken a, re a real finger tipper and passed it back to Shannon Noel. Monty, how about that? I'm not sure what's going on down there at the moment. Paddy Warner hit the wrong side of the ball for the first <laughs> one with the shot on goal. And then Murray Wade's taken an harder mark than the last one he dropped but he did well to pass it off because I reckon he was a bit nervous about the shot on goal after what he saw Paddy Warner did but Nolsey I'll, I'll back him in from here boys he's, he's got a lift here Nolsey here comes Nolsey I'm not going to say no, it Panda. I'm not going to say it if he kicks it here comes Nolsey and he misses to the left hand side well I would have said Don't. it but you pinched my work Don't, about half Robbie. an hour ago I you did. grub I took some no, of the that's best a, that's unprofessional mate <laughs> we're a team here mate we share things <laughs> You did it well, though, mate. Thank Minor you, Minor score, 8 13 121, Mang Wang. Rovers are 4 8 32. And that's for Apco Wangrata. G'day, Brett. Hey, Monty. Ben Reid just sitting on the pine at the moment. Very nonchalant. Yeah, and so is, uh, so is Juice Newton. He's got the, the, got the dressing on. gown on. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's a cigar pretty, out. He's got the feet up. <laughs> I reckon they'll get the boots off in a minute, have a beer while they're sitting there the way they're looking. Oh, dangerous kick inboard from Filer. It was a right option. Just hit the deck looking for Gerrish. And the pies are away through the middle. Kelly hand passes it forward. They get it on the boot of Jesse Smith. It's all Rovers inside 50, though. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Paddy Murray's hand pass has been intercepted by White. And he kicks a steel line goal of the day. A dagger through the heart of Paddy Murray there in the Wanger at a Rovers. And the margin now blows out to 95 points. 127 plays 32 on the work locker wanger at a scoreboard, Monty. Sums yeah. up the Rovers' day. Absolutely. He'd love his time again there, Paddy Murray. Probably didn't need to give the handball when he let, released it. And uh, Murray away just was on the spot there and put that one through. Like we've seen him do a lot for the Myrtleford last year. And um, it's good to see him finally hitting the scoreboard for Wangarata this year. Yeah, great finish there. 60 but, inside 50s to 35 is the uh, inside 50 count for the day. So it's been an absolute uh, sizzling performance there by Magpies. And they've had 19 marks to Wangarata Rovers four inside 50. I reckon Murray Waite's best game of the year, Monty. He's bagged three. Yeah, absolutely. He's been really good today. He's played that more deeper forward role, which we saw him at Myrtleford, whereas during the year he's been up around the wings and through the middle a bit more this year. Well, they want another clearance fire at Melville. Wanger, and I'll tell you what, our old mate Travi Cartwright, our cameraman, if he's hanging out for a type of goal, it'd be one from the goal square that you kick right over the back fence, but it takes ages to retrieve because he's trying to finish his pie. He's been trying <laughs> to finish his pie all quarter, the poor bugger. Now, here's more. The ball goes in deep, but Cooper takes a good, strong mark 20 metres out from the defensive goal. And it's a very nice kick, Pan, and it finds Jack Gerrish. The general manager of the SSNA, Ivan Zamari, has just texted through and said, Oh, dear. If you haven't tried the cheese and bacon potato cakes at Apco Wangaratta, you have not lived. Mm, OK. Mm -hmm. I know on Kano, I reckon he would have had a few too. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I can talk, but I know what Kano's like. Oh, Deary, Roy, what about that drive-by from Scott Montgomery? Oh, geez. Poor Kano. Oh, love your work, Kano. <laughs> so Alex Sparkle has won a free kick. At half forward, goes in board looking for Tom Boyd, who just has not had wow. any service all day, Tommy Boyd. And he takes a strong grab. You'll have to kick this from every bit of 50 metres on a 45-degree angle. I want Mark. no part of that. I want no part of that comment. <laughs> Mark just goes. We're all just day, we? down there now. <laughs> no one's safe here today. Oh. It just hasn't been Tommy Boyd's day today, Monty. No. But like I said, he hasn't had any service at all. No, nah, it's been pretty average service to him. But uh, he's the sort of guy who'd love to finish off with a goal here. So I bet you will put this one right through the middle, boys. So you'll kick this, as I said, from 
every bit of 50 metres. Pretty tight angle right in front of our commentary position. That Good is a goal, beautiful Mont. drop punt kick. Yes, Mont. You will not get a better drop punt no. for the day from Tommy Boyd. Good call, Mont. And the Rovers go to 5 8 38 to the Magpies 19 13 1 27. Something to cheer about for Tommy Boyd and the Rovers. Any more feedback from the. Uh General Manager. I've got M. feedback from our very own Gus McLeod saying Mont will be going to the tribunal for that. So get ready. All the way they've been going all out with 10. <laughs> You'll get 10 for that. <laughs> <laughs> There's another whack. I, mean, I distanced myself from that one comment too. <laughs> so do I. Please. Oh, what right oh. What have we got left here? Travis has just about got through his pie. It's six. I reckon there's maybe six minutes in it. And she's fizzing out of it here. Board. Here's Sharon. The time clock didn't start for a while. Oh, good yeah, point. I reckon it's about 25 gone, boys. Lovely. Good news. Here's Nolan. He was tackled. <laughs> he just dribbled that out enough. Cooper's finishing the game in style. He got a handball on to Mark Lou. Mark Lou now through the middle of the ground. He looks for young McCarthy. I've liked his Good game. Got a handball back to Cooper. The Rovers are starting to build here. Ivis Murray. Handball now on to Amory. Over the top to Lewis. Lewis from long range. Kicks a magnificent goal. The Rovers are back in it. Maybe not. 6 8 44. The Wang Rovers. Lewis has a couple. Magpies 19 13 127. Around about 26 minutes gone. And Panda, that's what I like to give you. Right to the end, I'll give you every little bit I've got. You will. Monty, that that's the first time they've kicked back to back goals all day. Good yeah, point. and it's good uh, Good to see Justin Lewis getting on the end of a couple of kick two for the day. He's been one of the shining lights, I think, for the Rovers today. A young kid who's been given a chance. He's played four in a row now, I think. So yep. he's been absolutely fantastic for the Rovers. And he just keeps battling away all day. Come off a cramp four, so he's got the rub and got back out there. And he's, uh, yeah, got a second one for the day. It's a, it's a good finish, boys. And you know in golf, they always say the one shot that gets you coming back next week. That's the one play that's going to get Rovers to take some positive out of this game. He's been very good since he's come in, Justin Lewis. It's the hardest role to play, I reckon, that high half forward role and yeah. providing pressure every week. He uses the footy well, he finishes well and they've got one there. The young fella and, from Corowa. And Dan, just if you can take note of the professionalism that your, your fellow commentators are doing right to the end. They're giving it everything. Not looking at other schools or other matches on your phone. Professionalism, mate. I'm very happy. Away, Panda. I've been very happy with Panda's work today, to be fair. Oh, thank you, Dan. Oh. Kind <laughs> words. Apart from not being able to spit a few things out in the first quarter, Sam Murray trying to get through a couple of Whoa. tackles, pinged holding the ball. A little clip too. Yeah, Hunter Gotchlin. Yes, yes. Well, just let him know about it. <laughs> yeah. So, fella. Sam Murray is down on the ground. He was gang tackled from Melville and Hunter Gotchling. First game for Hunter Gotchling since round one. Where he suffered an injury. He was very good that long? day in the middle, Hunter Gotchling wow. as well. Yep. He's a young star. He's got a lovely left foot. He goes back to Dylan Van Burlo. Switches the footy to half back. And it's just too easy all day for the Wangaratta Magpies. Grossman onto Norton. They switch it over to the Ovens Riverside. Oh, look at this. Hand pass comes out the back here to Jesse Smith on his left foot. Kicks it inside 50. McVeigh in a one on one versus Paddy Murray. Murray White, dangerous in that position as well. And we'll have it tossed back into play in front of that digital scoreboard that's had some troubles today. It's finished well, though. It has it? finished very well. And it reads 127, the Magpies, to 44, the Rovers. Yep. Have we got the raffle score. result yet, boys? No. no and I'm always suspicious when that happens. I reckon mm, there, might yeah. be a little, there was no provisions. Inside either. job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we took the, chook, the whole sheep away from them last time here. <laughs> Check that out, Mont. Oh, smothered kick by Jackson Clark. Well, that might have been a little bit high, was it? No, it's not. It's going to be a ball up. So she's petering out a bit here. 127 to 44. Wanger had a lead, and Rovers have kicked the last two goals. And at least they've uh, avoided a triple number defeat, which is good. More hurry kick inside forward 50. Balling around here was McVeigh. Will he get a chance to kick it off the ground? He might get another go. Nolan oh. met him front on. The umpire says oh, that's okay. And Murray Wade, who's. Uh, touch off the boot play on the umpire, as I said. He told the play on Mont. Great call from Mont. He's going to be an umpire at some stage in his career here, Panda. He's just plucks them from everywhere. Mont, good spot. Boundary throw in between wing and half forward. It's 127 to 44. Wangaratta doing it easy. Take it away, Bear. Dan Vaccaro on our 40-wing stat sheet, just hoping and praying that the Hawks will start soon as the siren goes here to end 
A wonderful day for the Wangaratta Magpies and a bad one for the Wangaratta Rovers. And in the second edition of the Wangaratta Derby for 2023, it was all black and white. The Pies 19-13-127 over the Wangaratta Rovers 6-8-44. An emphatic statement from a side who are really on a mission in 2023. Yeah, no doubt about that, mate. I, you could not be more impressed by them. They really didn't have a, a moment where they, where they backed it off. It, the only thing that probably stopped in the first quarter, they had so much ball inside Ford 50, but only kicked two goals. Paddy Warner kicked goal at the nine and 10 minute mark, but at the, the early signs were there. They were dominating the inside 50. Dan, Bacara, just back me up on that one. 40 winks. What was those... Forward inside 50s in that first quarter? Oh, in the first quarter? Yeah. It was 18 to 6. 18 to 6. And Set it was the only, game up. Yep, yep, only two goals and nothing, but that was the, really the start of what was going to be a really good day out for the Wangaratta Magpies. They'll be delighted with that. They lost this game in re early in the season on Good Friday to Wang Rovers when they stormed home, but things were a little bit different then, and uh, they've certainly they've got their feet back, Wangaratta, and they are going as well as anyone on the competition at the moment. That was a super impressive I performance today. I reckon you can compare how they're going now with how they started the first five weeks last year. That's spot when they on were Panda. absolutely yep. bullying the competition. That's a great call. And yep. they were winning games by 70 and 80 and 100 points. Yep. They are on a path at the moment, the Wangaratta Magpies, and they're just winning every game very easily at the minute. And they're the side that you definitely don't want to play. Scott Montgomery walking out at the moment to find out what is player of the day. And he stumbled across Dan Sharrick, who yep. once again dominates down there and Scott has him on the boundary. Yeah boys, player of the day, Dan Sharrick, mate, what a win boy you boys obviously had to get a bit of payback after the Good Friday result. Yeah, I mean it's probably stayed in their heads for a little bit. Um, we started off the year slow and, and we've just slowly kept building and building and, um, and yeah, we've, we've come here and got the win which is awesome. <laughs> the midfield group today mate, we're just on top from word go, you're able to link up really well with transition from D50 to inside 50s and your forwards will be loving the way you guys are using the footy going inside 50 at the moment. Yeah, it's a it's it's a good midfield group. Um, it's pretty fun having, you know, we're able to have two rotations per, per group, so really two good midfield groups going through there. So it's um, it's good result and, and our pressure coming forward for the forwards has been awesome. So. Mate, the group's waiting for you, so I'll let you go. Well done, mate. Go and enjoy it. Too easy. Thanks, boys. Dan Sharrick, our Waters player of the day, having some year in 2023. He's fifth for the contested possessions. He's top 10 for disposals and clearances. Averaging 27 and a half disposals, 129 ranking points. You'll love that, uh, Big Mac. He's also hit the scoreboard with eight goals. Kicked one today, so now he's kicked nine for the year. He is having some season, Dan Vaccaro. He has, and he's been fantastic. And Monty nailed that player of the day. I, I totally agree with him as well. He was fantastic. 26 touches today, and he just looked to be the best player. Thanks, Max. He Cheers, was mate. there at the cold face in the first half as well when the whips were cracking. He was fantastic. And Jackson Clark as well was another one that was great all day today. Cal Moore kicked four goals. I mean, you could you could have put a hand over you know, a blanket over five or six players, I yeah. think, really, um, who were fantastic. Squid Melville early as well. Melville was good. He had 20 Matty well. Grossman, the... Gambo's yep. got him at the moment. Yep. And the Rose. Warner. Warner was good. Walking off the ground at Warner the moment. Warner was fantastic in that first half, wasn't he? Yep. Yep. He really set them up with speed as well, and he was outstanding as well. A very impressive A-grade performance from the Wangaratta Magpies, and you would assume that they will sing this song very loud and proud in that club rooms. Will be pumping tonight. The other thing you remember too, guys, that's the first game they've played in... Uh, 22 matches, 22 games, uh, 22 yeah, days, yep. sorry, since Wangaratta have played uh, a round in the comp. Uh, so it's a really good way to come back. I know they had a practice game amongst themselves down in Melbourne last week. So Benny Reid and what the boys have done in that break have just done the master stroke. Last played on June the 3rd. So that's 23 yep. days, which is a long time to not play in this competition. As Monty goes over there with our wireless microphone to try and capture the Wangaratta Magpies song. Hello to all the viewers as well on the O&M Optus TV. Travi Cartwright doing wonderful work. He's finally finished his yes. pie as well. He's got half it down in front of his shirt, but he's, <laughs> he's got it done. That's the main thing. So, but no, good. That, that was very impressive performance. And anyone else watching that, all the other teams, Yarra and Aubrey, obviously big contenders, they're going to look at that and go, right, oh, there's a serious player yeah. still in the competition. I think they look no big chance go back to back here. I think we said earlier, oh, well, I said earlier in the day, they beat anyone today for yeah, mine. They, would they, they were at their best today. So disappointing Ooh. from Rovers, but I thought they were fantastic. Very happy Wangaratta 
Magpies demolishing the Rovers in the Wanger at Derby. 19-13-127 over the Wang Rovers, 6-8-44. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage on o &M Live, Optus TV on 2AY and 3 &E. Stay with us. A big post-game show for APCO Wangaratta on the way right after this. Have a great rest of your Sunday, Arvo. Stay with us. More from the Bird Box here on 2AY and 3 and E's o &M Live. The Pies win a big Wangaratta Derby. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. Why we're your home of live sport. Every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app.